Welcome or not for the third time to It Only Does PlayStation episode mm -hmm. 13 or 14? 13? I want to say 13. Uh, I'm going to check. I actually am not so sure anymore. It's okay. You tried your best. It's an extra life episode of It Only Does <laughs> it's PlayStation. It's an extra episode. This is a Level Up Network's dedicated PlayStation talk show on typically once every month. I'm on your co host, Andrew. Episode 13. I make the show Midori. It is episode 13. Mm -hmm. I'm joined today what? by Gregory Verga, GVZ. Hi, I'm here in the flesh. We got the Clays of Jubek, Mike McLaughlin. That's me. And of course, we have the Beast from the East, Dean Marchese, earning trophies over there. Hello. How are you doing, Dean? I'm doing pretty good, man. Uh, Did it feel good to stretch your legs before? Yeah, it felt okay. great. Okay. I'm doing pretty good. I'm just trucking along here. How does your butt feel? My back actually hurts, not my butt. Oh, that's you can actually lean forward to be comfortable in that chair. Yeah. I just realized we can get your uh, comfy, your shit sure. up on screen. Get oh my boy! Shit. You mind if I do that? No, I don't care. You're good. He's playing porn. Uh, no more because right now it's on the Wii U. The whole time he's just been watching porn over there. <laughs> <laughs> you're I'm getting a good, you're, I'm getting uh, a good view of it. Yeah. You're behind one trophy though. I'm gonna be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I have 44. Yeah, you are behind one trophy. You said 44, Joe. Right. What the hell? Yeah, these are good. I, know, I, don't I like the peel and pull one. Oh, hey, everybody. Just saw different. Drew's ass. Yeah, See if Eric, Eric, do you want a peel and pull? No, I'm good. I'm not big on Twitter. What? Yeah. You're a weird person. Why is that weird? Right, I don't know. Go. Thanks. I I'm like oddly in okay. love with you, but not sure if I am. You know what I mean? Why would Greg be getting zapped with a teaser? Well, at all times, because I think people will donate for that. I would do that. Would you really? If you guys donate $5... No, if you donate at least... Every hour we make $100, I'll tase myself. <laughs> no, they mean like with an actual taser. Yeah. Do we oh. have one? No, I'll get one. Okay. Come on, there you go. Here we go. I, I'm serious. If you do this, I will have a reason to get one. I'll try it. What if I just play the lightning game but hold both? It won't do anything. Oh, okay. It'll right. be the same as if you did it. So, I'm sorry, you're at 44 trophies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Miss Mal said, oh, can somebody rub his back? I'm okay. Eric? I'm on it, I'm on it. Thank you. I'm okay, don't touch me, don't touch me. 44 trophies! That's not a rub. Like While we're doing this, I'm going to put on song as well like because like we owe you guys 30 minutes of song. Just relax. Just relax. Enjoy. 30? 30. There was two 15 minute uh, song. Oh, was there prizes. two on the wheel? There's multiple on the wheel. I still love you. I don't like your hands though. Joey says laugh without, hey everybody, I just saw Drew's ass. Good for you. Nice! Rick said we all just saw it, Eric. So if you guys don't know, it only does PlayStation is four PlayStation dedicated topics and we also do some uh, mail time questions which you guys submitted on our uh, Patreon or on our Twitter so we're going to go through those as well. Uh, before we get into the crux of it though, once again a reminder, wow. we are doing this for Extra Life, yep. uh, trying to raise money for Children's Miracle Network hospitals throughout the United States of course. If you would like to take part in that like so many others have done today, just go to levelupnetwork.com slash extra life. Donate whatever you have the means to. Dan our friend just donated five dollars. Thank you so much, Dan, for Mr. Donation. P. Hush, you're a beautiful person. Anything twenty dollars or more will get you a spin of the prize wheel, and we can do some more shenanigans like lip sync or video a game skit. skit. Those are fun. Those are fun. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Before we get into the topics, is there any PlayStation games you guys want to talk about that you've been playing? Mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clank, I finally beat. It's a loaded question. I think you're out of this. Yeah. Dude, shut up. <laughs> yeah. I you, yeah, we talked about Ratchet and Clank a little bit before. I'm not sure if it was live or, or what, but you... I beat it, finally. You didn't seem that crazy about it, though. That was okay. Nothing to rave about. Really? Like I want a Jack and Dexter 4. That's what made You're me miss. You're such a piece of shit sometimes, you know that? Everyone you say this to me every day. Clank is better. Just One day I'm going to wake up as an actual piece of shit. So the reason you like Jack and Dexter <laughs> better, I assume, is because you feel like the story is better? <laughs> the story is just there. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. I do. Ratchet and Clank is beautiful. For the first one, yeah. Ratchet and, and Clank is beautiful. I love the graphics, I love the guns, the Sheepinator, when I got that, that was, mm-hmm, I used mm -hmm. that the rest of the game. Yeah, the Sheepinator is the bomb when you max it out. Yeah, I love it. Or the, the Groovatron, I think it's called, and you shoot out a giant disco mm -hmm. ball, and then they all, like, moonwalk and stuff, that's fun. But, the Rhino was really weak in this There's no story! Like, I don't even know what the fuck I was doing! Yeah, I mean, I, the later Ratchet and Clank's <laughs> do get better, but it never matches Jack and Daxter, in my opinion. Yeah. That's Naughty Dog. They've always had more of a focus on story. That's why they're my favorite, and Ratchet and Clank can suck my balls. Oh. It's fucked up, man. I feel like that's extreme. Well, it's a good thing. Is it? I don't know, dude. Yeah, that's a little extreme. 
I have nice Patrick Clank's stuff. awesome, dude. You, yeah, you suck, know. and I think that's a real problem. I feel like I can agree with that. <laughs> wow. One His says it down. It's definitely <laughs> the, <laughs> the cup scenes from the movie. I agree. I mm -hmm. thought I would agree with that. Yeah, and that took me like out movie. of it a little, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Mike? I'm trying to think of anything. I mean, I've been playing Battlefield. I've been playing mm -hmm. Skyrim. I'm playing a lot. Mm -hmm. um, nothing PlayStation-centric, though. Nothing okay. you know dedicated to the, you know something that you can only play on that. Uh, system. I would have liked to have played more World of Final Fantasy this week, but I was too busy setting up Extra Life. That is a PlayStation exclusive, mm -hmm. I guess you could say, so that's definitely PlayStation centric, and I'm going to get back to it next week once I have more time. Hello to Ice Tequila, and we also have 44 people in the room. Hello, everybody. I've yeah. decided I'm going to get Call of Duty. Oh have my you? Really? god, if I hear about this goddamn Why? game one more time. I don't know when, but I'm going to do it, because I just want to play it. I like it. That's the cool. whole weekend, this is all I've Are heard. you more interested in the campaign or the <laughs> I multiplayer? talked about it twice yesterday, and that, and that means the whole weekend. <laughs> more than twice. Uh, no, I, yeah, both campaign I heard was really good, and the multiplayer I heard was really good. I'll probably get it maybe over like Thanksgiving break, I'm thinking. He said to me, yeah, so I'm going to catch up on Tomb Raider I have, and all that stuff. Uh, Arkham City I have to play through. Rise of the Tomb Raider, I'm very excited to start. Oh, if I have to hear about Rise of the Tomb Raider, <laughs> one more time. <laughs> Um, I'm excited that we're getting Final Fantasy at the end of this month. Oh god, yeah. I'm excited that yeah, we're getting Last Guardian oh, at the beginning of December. Maybe I won't get Call of Duty. <laughs> Thanks to me, break then. <laughs> yeah, dude. I forgot about that. Final Fantasy's gonna be a big Yeah. I have a feeling that's gonna review really well. Yeah, I think so. Eric, are you gonna grab the Final Fantasy? What do you play? I don't play much. Okay, good talk. Mike, what do you play? You play, though. Here he said. What do you say? He said he's been playing Battlefield and Skyrim. Nothing PlayStation centric. Yeah. Um, so, I think then we should get into our four main topics of the show. I'm first, because I make this damn show. First up, this year's PlayStation experience is just a month away. Right? One month away. A month? Just about. Yeah, it's like December 5th. The 5th? It's exactly a month. Why did I go to topic one. three? Please. Let me make sure I'm on the right video here. Uh, no, I'm not. I <laughs> skipped ahead too far. Don't do that. There we go. There we are. Topic number one, as I was saying, PlayStation Experience is just a month away. What are we predicting will happen at the show? What can you, Sony do to ensure that the spotlight remains on them this holiday season? I got it. Answer me, Greg. You make all new trailers for oh, Spider-Man, yeah. God of War. God of War is already confirmed not to be there. Balls. For Spider-Man, brand new Infamous. That Sucker Punch has been working on okay. for the PS4, and it's the showdown of Delson vs. Cole. Ah, uh, that would be pretty awesome. That would be amazing. You get me... What's another big one I want? I want to see more from... Is it Days Gone? Yeah, Days Gone. Give me more of that, because what's bad. going on in that game. Um, And then release a, um, a Spider-Man PS4, and that's how you get me to buy a new PS4, too. I do think they should definitely do a Spider-Man PS4. And that's how you get it. But so. when do you think Spider-Man is actually coming? Fall of holiday. next year. I yeah. Be ho yeah, holiday. yeah, I think holiday next year, too. I agree with that. You know what I was be thinking? The game. What if it came out at, like, Red Dead Batman Arkham Asylum yeah. time? 45. Like, May, June, before the summer. I feel like Spider-Man would be a good Well, when does Spider-Man, the movie, actually come out? Because we've debated over this. Homecoming Summertime. is the summer, June or July. I think it's June. Yeah, so it, w it would be appropriate for them to release it at a similar time frame. Right, well, that's the that. thing is, with games now coming out like in the Battlefront summer... Like Battlefront and Star Wars The Force Awakens. Yeah. Right, yeah. like, with games, coming out with, and with games coming out in the summer now, more often, mm -hmm. do we think that Sony's ballsy enough to make that choice? That. You know, I think it's perfect, but Sony's it's a ballsy balls. move, because like Dean says, you know, a lot of customers are just grabbing things, you know, parents are grabbing things off the, sh the shelves, mm -hmm. you, right. know, you know, because it's new, and because their kid doesn't have it yet. So, you know, they do miss out on that. I think it's perfectly reasonable because everybody that's going to get it is going to get it then, and then the parents are still going to get it for the holiday. You know, so it might yeah. not sell as much right away as it would during the holiday, but I think it would have more lasting sales. Mal yeah. wants to know, Drew, what are you going to do when you finally have Final Fantasy XV in your hands? Uh... going to cry. Yeah, I feel like I can't say. It's too dirty. <laughs> <laughs> he said he would like Crash Bandicoot gameplay and release date instant win. That, I feel like that's a, almost a guarantee, in my opinion. What, with, Crash Bandicoot? With, yeah, with announcing it at E3 no, the way they did, and with yeah. you know nothing more than that, I think we're going to get more communication on that. I'm actually going to say, and go balls, because I don't disagree with anything Greg said, mm -hmm. um, really, but I think I'm going to add to that and say we might even get some Red Dead uh, information. With the game coming out in March, it'll be more in line with crazy. Sony, you think, right? Well, right, so they have the, the exclusive stuff. Red Dead isn't soon. out in March. 
Huh? Red Dead's not out until oh, no, late next, next year. Fall, next fall, right? Late next yeah. year, yeah. Either way, I could see them doing it just because they do have that partnership, that partnership. going. Uh, yeah, so they could uh, forward that a little bit into, like, you know, maybe show the DLC plans. I, I don't know. They could do something to build some hype there. Yeah. I'm surprised they even announced it as early as they did, considering mm -hmm. it's a, a year away. Yeah, true. Uh, they're probably going to do the Uncharted 4 single-player DLC. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good trailer. Which is going to be exciting, right? The Last of Us 2. No. I mean, we. I don't think PSX is for... Mm -hmm. Reveals that those type of mega. What about like Nino Kuni too? Yeah, that's exactly. It's on screen right now because those are the kind of games I think you're gonna see. How are, do you plan that? Are games that <laughs> that we know about but we haven't seen a lot of Crash Bandicoot, mm -hmm. uh, Days Gone, Nino Kuni. Did you know I was thinking that? I just I don't know. You I, blow my fucking mind. I put together these videos because the these are the things I feel we're gonna talk about. That's fucking crazy. KB two point oh. I have. That's I weird. Have, I'm almost 100% sure they will not talk about any new PlayStation system that... Batman said, no more yeah. Infamous, give me some new IP, damn it. You're, you're rude, because I like Infamous. I, I agree partially with him, but the idea of Delson versus Cole is very attractive. Uh -huh. Enough that I would be okay with it. I'm mm -hmm. an attractive human. I do want Sucker Punch to move on to something new. Though. You know what would have to make that true, then? What? The end of Infamous Second Son, you would need the evil ending, where he kills yeah. his tribe. Yeah, you would. That's crazy. I, I guess you would. I don't know, maybe he's just... A, Maybe no. he just doesn't like Delson. Yeah, maybe it's just like a, this town isn't big enough for, for the both, both of us. Situation. Yeah. situation. No, because yeah, you it, see Delson in the good side, he's okay with fetch and stuff, so, so you well, have to the, the, that's the thing, is that whatever version of the game we get, yeah. we're going to either, either have to have the evil and good of... Cole or the know, evil Cole, good yeah, the evil Cole, good Delson, or good Delson? They've said... Who would you know. rather be the good one? Well, yeah, that's my question. Let's delve further into this. Like, who are you playing as? Are you playing as both? Are you playing as the good as both? Or do you have the choice of both? Like, what's going on there? I, I see know, it like they until have said dawn. the canon ending of Infamous with Cole. I don't mm -hmm. remember what it is, but there is a canon ending. The it is one. the one where he it's the he strike dies. on it's the tomb, the himself. electric yeah. thunderbolt on the tomb. And I feel like Delson wasn't as nearly as well received. So Infamous why not just two electric make him a villain? villain? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Delson would be mm -hmm. fine as a villain because he wasn't as you get a chance to start liked. over and make people like like him at least as a villain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean. I wonder how that would work, though. Because then, when you're cold, do you have, in the new game, your ice powers or your fire powers? Well, it would have to be the ice if it's the, the good. The ice right, was the good. good, right? Yeah. Hashtag quad. Maybe he, like, evolved when he was reborn from, from the lightning or something. Yeah, they said Cole's good ending his canon since right. I would be okay if you did, like, you played, if there was both good endings, like, you were Delson and you were Cole, and it was, like, until dawn, like, you just switched perspectives on both right. and played in their worlds, but then, like, Something you converge on a point, and Delson like accidentally steals one of Cole's powers, and that's what makes them fight. Mm. That would be cool because he's a sponge, Delson. I hope it happens. I like That'd that. That'd be cool. Do you think? And th I think this Drew would steal some spotlight. Witch? What does that yeah, mean? I don't know why I'm a witch, but I'll take it. Okay. Um, because <laughs> you knew what it was gonna play on the video. Oh, oh there it is. Nino Kuni. Um, Final Fantasy VII remake. Do we get anything? Because that's no. definitely gonna sh you know steal some spotlight if no. they do that. No. They did say that they would be showing new information in the winter, right? Didn't they? Yeah, they said that about Kingdom Hearts, though, too. Yeah, but they said winter 2016, which is weird, because winter 2016 is like five days long. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Unless they're... Well, unless you're... It depends on how you PSX. look at winter. Yeah. I don't think it's PSX, though. I don't think it's big enough in their eyes to get Final Fantasy. No, I think it is. Especially if they do the exclusivity. Remember yeah, how remember, big we thought PSX last year was yeah, going to be, and it was No, but dead. yeah, remember too, they, they had the exclusivity with uh, PC and PlayStation for the Final Fantasy VII Remake, mm -hmm. so they wouldn't show it at a big conference. You know, they would be more likely to show it at this conference than I feel like than E3. Everything they've so. said over the past many months is, no, we're not showing Final Fantasy VII Remake, we've got you know, Final Fantasy XV, we've got World of Final Fantasy, we're not talking about Remake at all mm -hmm. until those games are out. Right. And, and, you know, have secured their spot. And that will be after. And the thing is, this was before 15 was delayed. So maybe they were planning on showing the remake this year, but now with 15 being delayed till November 29th, they don't. They, maybe they didn't leave themselves enough of a padding to be like, okay, yeah, we That's can show I mean, the or be one right Final after Fantasy 15 might build up enough hype to let them feel confident in it. Yeah. You gotta remember that Final Fantasy 15 is probably gonna reach a new audience that they haven't reached before. It's reaching me. Exactly. In, in Dean. Yeah. Yeah, we have two people in this room that have never played it. One person who's barely played a couple here and there, and a diehard fan that are all gonna get it. Yeah. You know what I mean, like it just it's... looks amazing. I just want to sit in the lawn. So I feel like the run they're by. gonna want to ride the lightning. I'm gonna go fishing. You know, on this and continue with the stream of That's good a possibility. Final Fantasy talk. 
and say, hey, listen, don't forget, we have this remake coming. Yo, check out this cool shit. Can we say what your favorite side activity is going to be in Final Fantasy XV? Mine's going to be putting the bat wings on my car. Mine will flying. be probably chocobo racing or fishing. I've always been a fishing fan. Like Especially fish. if it's a like, good like fishing big game. Bass. What's your fishing favorite fishing Like Ocarina of Time. Yeah, fishing. that's a good one. That's the one I've always been a, a fan of these little fishing mini games. Far. Couldn't stand it. Um, I think there's probably going to be some other really cool side quests in there as well. Uh, there's going to be a lot of hunts. I'm going to do a lot of hunts. Yeah. Which is where you're, like, you'll go into town and you'll yep. look at like a, a board and it'll have like monsters in the area. It's like most are, wanted. Yeah, like most wanted, yeah. exactly. And yeah. you have to hunt down that monster and mm -hmm. you get a, a bounty on it and stuff like that. Those are always fun Those in Final cool. Fantasy. So I'm looking forward to that. Here's a question for you. Hit me with it. What shirt does Sean Layden wear? Oh. Cra well, crash. I was crash. Say this year that. was Crash. He Bandicoot. already did wear Crash Bandicoot then. Yeah. Spider Man. See, let's think about this. The one year he did Crash Bandicoot, and the year before that, what did he do? That's why I don't know. He's each year he's done a game that was then revealed the next right. year. Um, let me see. So, like, what's the secret PlayStation game that he's going to tease through his shirt this year? That would be fucking. I feel like they need to make Spider Man in the face of PlayStation right now. That would make me happy. Yeah. Because, like, that's such an iconic character. Yeah, but we already know about it. I feel like if he's going to tease yeah. anything, it's going to be something that, like, we don't know about at all. Like a new I thing? Like, um, the return of an old PlayStation franchise is, like, something like that. I feel like those are the kind of things that Sean Layden does each year at PSX. You know what I wish they did with old PlayStation franchises? Like, I wish they combined with UbiArt and, I mean, like, a Crash Bandicoot UbiArt game. Like, a 2D traditional Crash Bandicoot, but an UbiArt engine. His says The Last of Us shirt. Gravy Biscuit says Legend of Dragon. I can see, I can see the Last of Us shirt. Not that they're gonna announce the Last of Us at PSX, but, but he could wear shirt. the Last of Us shirt just like to be Ellie like, and Winter. Hey, yeah, yeah. guess what? The Last of Us Two is is coming at some point. Just a little tease. When do you think that happens? The Last of Us Two? Yeah. E three. No, I still think it's not ready. I don't know. I think E three in two years maybe. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the Last of Us is pretty far away. Yeah, I think so. You think it's so the too? best game ever made? It's uh, it's one of the best. For sure, I, I think that. I don't think it's the best game ever made. I think it's great, though. It's one of my favorites, that's for sure. I don't, you know, there's a difference between best and favorite and all that Tetris kind of stuff. Tetris is but... objectively the best game ever made. Yeah. Fact. That's a fact of I life. hate when he says It's that. a great game. It usually is in the top five of lists yeah. I see anywhere. It's amazing. Usually Tetris is up there. Welcome back, Super Dave. Uh, Vantara says, did you guys catch that Crash Bandicoot is a character in the Netflix original Skylanders? And he has a voice. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he's very Australian. Really? And he like, is? He sound, yeah, That's he's awesome. Very, he that's sounds really cool. almost exactly like what you would expect him to sound like. I'm a big fan. That's, that's actually really cool. I need yeah. to check that out now, just for the, the, the voice and seeing how he's animated. Oh, shit. Not. He wore a Kratos shirt in 14. Okay, so there you go. Like, that's what I mean. Like, he's, he's teasing God of War. So he's teasing what, Crash Bandicoot. What don't we know of? The Last, Last of Us. It's not been confirmed that there's a The Last of Us 2, but if he comes out on stage wearing The Last of Us shirt, everybody's going to be like, yeah. oh, The Last yeah. of Us 2 is Right, coming. and you know what? It would make sense with the talk of the D... Well, no, because they're not doing the other one. It doesn't um, picture Crash as Australian. Yeah, it means it makes sense. It does? Right? Who? What studios don't we know... Like, do we not know anything about still? There's a couple of them, right? Uh... I feel like so we're running we out. Didn't, right? Maybe, like, we're running out. I mean, they're they're mostly... No, we mostly know. I know, but there was a few that we were surprised they didn't say anything at either at E3 Gorilla's or... Gorilla's doing Horizon. Oh, we'll probably see new Horizon stuff. Yeah, yeah we'll I'm definitely sure see, we'll Horizon see Horizon stuff, yeah. But there's there's a couple. I know, um... We know Santa Monica. Yep. We just... We don't know... We know Media Molecule. We know <gasps> Ben. We don't you know, know what Japan, would be right? awesome if we got a reveal of, um... Um... Journey's new game. Oh yeah, they did tease they teased it. it. Yeah. yeah, and even though it's multi-platform, it would be make sense for them so to kind of like, align it with Sony. It? I Sorry. agree. That's a very good point. Right? right? That's a good one. You missed the tease. No, what you said. Oh, the, the next journey, that the, game company. What is game. that game company? Oh, because they did say that they're yeah. We got that little teaser. Yeah, that's um, gonna be during the level up show. We're, we're missing what Sony London and Sony Japan, right? Uh, yeah, Sony Japan is is big. There's like multiple like little studios they have, within. Like, caveats. Yeah. yeah, like you got the team caveats? that worked on Puppeteer, yeah, and you got the team that worked like. You know, they've got multiple affiliates, uh, affiliates, whatever affiliates. you want to call it. Yeah. Caveats doesn't work, no. Not for that. Miss Mel says Spyro shirt. <laughs> eh, nah. I think Activision would never. Yeah, they, well, well, well no, they might, they might let that, but he wouldn't. They let Crash Bandicoot would, happen. So. Right, he, but it wasn't demanded as not, as much as Crash Bandicoot. I is. am pro Spyro. I am more pro Spyro than I am Crash Bandicoot. I agree, yeah. I, yeah. I don't think the Crash Bandicoot I like that you tweeted, transfer that you well. commented on my tweet to them. Yeah. I appreciated that. I love Spyro, dude. 
Do we think that they could bring dreams back into the spotlight? We haven't seen anything from that Isn't game that in weird such how that a just long time. I don't know. I think it's secretly canceled. No, I don't think so. I I, I doubt that. Uh, maybe they're adjusting the game and changing it. Oh, but... the puppeteer! I mentioned there was a puppeteer too. I puppeteer, puppeteer was puppeteer. awesome. Yeah, it was visually Eric, stunning. Did you like puppeteer? <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny question. You didn't run into it. Yeah, so we'll probably get <laughs> Horizon gameplay. Uh -huh. That'll probably be like their final big gameplay push of that. What else is coming? Early, I'm thinking early gameplay of Red Dead. Jack and Daxter, they already scrapped that. Yeah, it's not happening, I don't think. They it came up with an idea. If you buy the Naughty Dog Anniversary Collector's art book set, there's a whole plot and artwork for Jack and Daxter 4. And it was like a gritty game. It was taking place kind of in the jungle like Uncharted Drake's Fortune was, but then they decided to go Uncharted. Wait, do we... That's what happened to The Last of Us. We yeah. were working on Jack and Dexter, and then it became The Last of Us. Yeah. These are the Neo kind of games we got last year. Stuff like Neo. Because they go back to it. Oh, we, like, we forgot that we don't ready. have, um... What was it? Um, Nier. We need Nier. Nier Automata or whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah. Well, just Nier, I think it's just Nier, unless they're putting another title on it. Yeah, it is. It's Nier Automata, Automata or something, something like that. Yeah, that's um, the... Mass Effect. Are you saying something? Yeah, Mass Effect is a possibility. They, they uh, see, there seems to be some I'm allegiance sorry. there, actually. I'm, I'm, right, well, they, they were them very them, big... So. Yeah. Well, because they were published by Microsoft, then Microsoft kind of fucked them. When they wanted to go multi-platform on it, they originally wouldn't give them the rights to the first Mass Effect. Okay. And then, it, remember Just it came over yourself. in the trilogy set? What kind of yeah. That was like the whole thing, but they didn't have the original Mass Effect for the longest time. So that's why I feel like Andromeda, they're more like, hey Sony, what's going well, on? Well, I'm looking yeah, at like, like the PS4 be... Pro and how they like yeah. pushed it there and yeah. all yeah. that, so... Yeah, that was so at like I'm thinking weird we might actually meeting. Because yeah. it's close. That's that's what I was thinking of. Not Red Dead, it's Mass Effect that's really close. So we haven't gotten almost any Where gameplay. Where are you on. going? I wanted 54. So, Last time I looked at the screen, it was 120. we have, I mean, we have two days, right? Monday is when we're going to get more information on Mass Effect. Yeah, it's on oh, seven day. Yeah, and seven day, right? So we have a teaser. We're going to show tonight. Yeah. Right. No, so we're definitely going to get more information oh, God, Monday. I'm going to bet you we're going to get a big chunk of one hundred and forty with uh, the PlayStation Experience. Right, That's so the only big conference that they have until then. And then yeah. we still don't know. Uh, and we also got to keep in mind. I mean, we got to pace ourselves. VGX is coming. Yeah. That yeah. does have stuff. So uh, yes, we want some big stuff for PSX, but it might not always be. VGX is in December still. What's your question? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. For Jeff Keeling. Forty-six. 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 That's great. Right? Is that? Yeah, forty-six. You're right. That's crazy. You're getting up there, man. I'm trying, dude. This is pretty hard. Now I want the single-player story DLC for Uncharted trailer. I'm really excited for that. Yeah, I just want to see what they're doing because now the rumors of it being Sam and Drake focused or Nathan focused, I'm just like, no way. There's no way they're going to do that. That would be so bizarre mm -hmm. for them to focus on Sam and Nathan again. I think it's going to be Sam and Sully, or Nate, Elena, and... Am I allowed to say that? Uh, I, I still feel like I would skip over that last part, yeah. just in case. I don't know it yet. What? Oh, no, I know it. You know it. the, yeah, yeah, yeah you know the twist. ending twist, if you yeah. want to call it a twist. I don't know, I just feel Thanks. like some people are still have it. I feel like that, I would want that more. Yeah. But I yeah, I would be more okay with that than I would be with Nathan and, and Sam, Sam again. I can't deal with that. I mean, I like the characters, it's just I feel like they, they <sighs> provided us closure. Sam. Really? I am, but not at all. Well, I, yeah, throughout you know the game, I mean? he, he kind of screws you over and whatnot, He's but... Just, do we say dreams yet? Yeah, we oh, talked about dreams, yeah. I'm just wondering if they'll bring that into spotlight, because it's been I, so what long. What the fuck is taking so long? What happened know. to dreams? It's a very ambitious I mean, game, I don't know. I wonder... I, I will <laughs> bet you anything, actually, now I think it makes sense. They wanted to release the VR, and they're going to up, show more of it uh, <laughs> at PSX uh, with the VR headset. Yeah. They're going to really show that, because imagine the, that in a VR realm, where you can actually yeah, go Yeah, that makes design. sense that they would that, delay it to really make sure the VR focus is there, because it just makes, it makes total sense. sense as a mm -hmm. VR title more than anything else. If the Uncharted DLC is Chloe and Cutter, I will personally drive my 2006 Chevrolet Equinox through Naughty Dog Studios. <laughs> through it. Physically take my car and drive it through the studio. I don't know, you Moving on. You Moving on, yeah. You said a lot of talk, because you said earlier, if you were to lose to me, yeah. playing Smash Brothers, you'd kill yourself. So... Yeah, you're I didn't lose to you, you I up. lost because of myself. Different. You still lost. Mm, not to you, though. You Detroit, too. lost. True. No, I'm just imitating. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm true. Help me, please. <laughs> Any other oh, final? Oh, we could see Detroit. Oh, oh yeah. Man, that's that's a good point. That's a very good when point. does that game come out? Ever? Next year. Yeah, I think it's next year. I agree. But I, believe, I think it's actually going to be next September. 
That's what's crazy. We have Resident Evil 7, we have Spider-Man, Detroit, Days Gone, Injustice 2, we could say so. Yeah, it depends on uh, where the allegiance lies there. How is Telltale's The Walking Dead? Is that a PlayStation thing more? No, I don't think so. And then Resident Evil 7, we could probably see something. Yeah, Resident Evil 7 is definitely more tied to PlayStation because of the VR VR stuff. Yeah, Yeah, I like that. Is that it then? Any final? Dean? I love how freaking specific he gets, says Joey. You didn't really uh, say too much here. What's your hope out of PSX? Oh, what do you want the most of anything? Uh, I would obviously love to see Spider-Man highlighted. Um, I would like them to... Do you want like a full gameplay demo of, yeah, of Spider-Man? You I do. I think I need it, yeah. <laughs> uh, I also think it wouldn't hurt to highlight some more games that they're going to be making compatible with PS Pro if they really want to sell that thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I would hope to see that for their sake more so than mine. But Spider-Man is really a big one for Here's me. Here's what you do with Spider-Man. I feel like they just kind of put it out there. Yeah. And then they're like, well, that's a thing, so deal with that. I feel like that's all <laughs> they needed to do, though. Like, the excitement was there immediately the following. still here, but they need to now show gameplay. Like, just something. Well, when you think you about it, it's only been six months. I know. I'm Here's just what saying, you do I with it, though. You give us a good villain, and you give us, like, a little side mission. Like, him going to take down Electro or yeah, something. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be totally fine with that. Or, like, Black Cat robbed a bank. You have to go get Felicity. Go. 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 Do it. Do the damn That'd thing. Cool. That'd be cool. Um, I would love to see some kind of infamous something, even if it's just a collection, just so they remember yeah. that, that franchise is awesome. That's the truth. You know? Uh, those would probably be my top three. We don't have any infamous on PS4 except Second Son. No. Like, nope. We never got Festival of Blood or anything. Either. No, they didn't bring over any of the originals, which is weird. They've remastered yeah. almost everything except for Infamous. That's, that's like the one favorite one. They have a remaster. I want to play Quo and Nyx again. I'm turning off. Infamous 2 is very underrated. What are we listening to right now? All right, uh, moving on. <laughs> I don't know what he's worse. doing back there. I, the game. Just, just... I never know what he's doing back there. <laughs> he's in the secret corner of happiness. All right, let's move on to a uh, mail time here. Mail time. Let's see if I can find it. Where is it? There it is. Oh, by Dear, the way, it only does Jazz PlayStation. Jazz. <laughs> Jazz, there you go. Dear, it only does PlayStation. What was your favorite television commercial for the PS4 so far? What's your favorite commercial for any game, any generation? Okay, I got both. Okay. My favorite television commercial so far for the PS4 was the Star Wars one where he picks up R2-D2. It's a good one. And he remembers his childhood, like, fighting his brother with the flashlights. Love that fucking That is a great commercial, you're right. And my favorite video game commercial ever, this is how I found out about Kingdom Hearts. There's a, it's a picture of Sora's face, and there's these twinkling lights, and they're glistening on him. And then you realize that he's underwater, and you're like, what the fuck is this? And then Mickey, you see Mickey's ears, and Donald and Goofy come running at him through the water, and then it's like, boom, Kingdom Hearts. It's my favorite. I think for me, one that stands out Kingdom is Hearts. the Until oh. Dawn live action trailer. That's commercial. a good one. Oh, I like that. That was a really, really good live action. Because yeah. I find that a lot of live action ones are corny. They kind of miss I, it. I don't know, they just miss the mark. Like the God of War one, for instance, I thought missed the mark back I don't know what for like that Ascension was. or whatever. Yeah. Like the guy looked weird as Kratos. Yeah. And, but this one, it just was so simplistic, and I bet it didn't even cost them that much to make. It was probably like a real low budget thing, but yeah. it worked. It yeah. really worked well from the direction. It was literally just a girl running through the woods. Yeah. And then it was like, do I go left or do I go right? And then she goes right and she gets murdered. Yeah, because it like it demonstrated the purpose of the game, but also like the atmosphere of the game. It was creepy. Uh, and then she went left and she got murdered. And then yeah. she hid and she got murdered. Yeah, but then uh, doesn't she switch directions after that and like she picks up the axe and decides to like go yeah. at him mm -hmm. pretty much? And that's how it ends. You never know if she left. Yeah, that was a good one. I like that one a lot. Hey, that was a good game. It was a good game. Yeah. What are they doing? I still need to Super play massive. That. Good question. I was going to do that for Halloween. The guy me. from Until Dawn? Did Sony no, I was going to play them. the game. Oh, okay. Did Sony stream. buy them? Super no, not yet, but I think if they prove themselves with their next game, they'll consider it. Because yeah. Until Dawn did really well. That was a like a surprise, surprise hit. hit, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think a lot to do with the, the Twitch streaming and whatnot. People were watching that game everywhere because it was a really fun game to watch. Yeah, I, like uh, all, game. I don't all, remember too many like PlayStation 4 specifically commercials. I remember like the some. I remember the. I know that like some of the ones you guys named, but I can't think of any like really other ones that stood out to me that much. Um, I like this one right here. I don't know. The name. I mean, it's called the Perfect Day commercial. Yeah, that was good. That was very um, early that on. That was like the first original one, but I felt like that was the best one. It where it was like the guy and his buddy, and they were doing like a medieval fight, and then they went to do like um like the drive club stuff yep. and the racing, and then um, Destiny Kill Zone. No, Kill Zone. It looks like what it was. I think don't they ride the Destiny things at the very end? That was the uh, that was the other one. I like okay. the original one. 
with Killzone because that was like their pre-launch one. The Destiny one. And then you also have the one with like the mayhem where the guys walking through like the destruction mm -hmm. of everything and the dragons in the background and whatnot. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. The Destiny trailer was cool if you want to consider that associated with PlayStation, the live action one. Mm -hmm. Um, that was really well done. That was one of the other live action ones that I really enjoyed. Oh, this must have been one I missed. This must have been a European control uh, commercial. But it's, uh, this is for the players. I'm with you, though. I've always enjoyed the Kingdom Hearts commercials on TV in the past. They're just like... They use the music, which is obviously... The music is the best part of the game. Yeah. And then all you have to do to sell me on anything, show me fucking Disney characters, and I will give you my money. Yeah. You show me Mickey here's Mouse, Superman, here's my savings account. You show me Donald and Goofy with Mickey Mouse? Who do I have to have sex with? Well, geez. best commercial, gaming commercial of all time. Nobody. You just buy the game. It's yeah, you could. Probably, uh... Yeah, but I'm gonna try to rape somebody on my way to purchase that <laughs> Jesus. game. Jesus. Two of the gears. Rape of is only rape if you call the cops. I think we're the, some of the best ones you get. You get. <sighs> I don't get it, Greg. What is your deal? I'm in a good mood. Lucifer Belmont joined. What's going on? Uh, Vexpo. This is, the wings is something uh, centric to uh, Extra Life. Which is what we're playing for today. He, he said, about the wings. I understand the plus one on the shirts, but the wings make me think of it as a kill streak. Mm -hmm. We're killing donations. <laughs> we're killed. They're, they're like the extra life wings. Yeah. Yeah, Eric did them. Um, so they apply to everything. Bitch. But Gears of War 1 <laughs> That's how I feel. the best game. <laughs> <laughs> Gears of War 1? Yeah, that was a great one. Man, I just three, to reaction. me, was, I, I liked a lot too. The From Dust. Yeah. Um, I liked that one a lot. But the Gears of War 1 oh, was yeah, probably the best yeah. game commercial. Yeah, overall, Microsoft has done great with, like, the Halo ones. Those were all great. Oh, yeah, great. those are all really, really The good. Diorama one, where it's, like, spinning around. Mm -hmm. that That's a great one. I love that one. Uh, yeah, Microsoft is very good with their commercials. Sunset Overdrive had a good one, too, didn't it? I don't remember it. Sunset, Sunset Overdrive, Overdrive is... I don't remember having one. Oh, Ratchet and Clank commercials when we were younger. With them demonstrating all the weapons. Yeah, oh my god, that was funny. Those were always great. Are you on like, just general PlayStation commercials now? Yeah. Yeah, that's what the Oh yeah, in general, that was the second part of the question. The, 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 it was any it, game What was PS4 and then any game Oh, trailer. my favorite one of all time is Crash Bandicoot. With, with like microphone. him with the microphone yeah, or the yeah. microphone? Yeah, I thought that was, shit was hilarious. When Lucifer, I'm always doing awesome. I don't think I've ever been not me. No, which that's is awesome. true. You haven't. Which is always awesome. Because that's a, you're that's guys. Person you have to be. I don't think we've had any donations so far this hour yet. What the shit? Please help us support the children. Go to levelupnetwork.com/extra-life. It's for Children's Miracle Network hospitals throughout the United States. It's a wonderful cause. Our goal today is four thousand dollars. Our goal for the hour is twenty-four hundred. Let's yep. say. I was gonna say twenty-four. Twenty-four hundred, because I think we're at twenty-two eighty right now. Um, did we not get another 21? I don't think so. Okay. Let's go check. I'm going to call out Eric. I texted him hi just to get him involved in the conversation, and he never responded. I'm playing Tetris. Tetris. Like a good boy. Well, let's that. see. Let's see. Eric, that made me feel Eric plays video games. I'm sorry, we're at 22.85 because we had the $5 donation from gamer. Dan. He's a man of many other things. Eric, what was your favorite video game commercial? <laughs> Thank you for your input. <laughs> good job, Eric. <laughs> I just wanted to be part of the little busy. Alright, moving on. Who's got topic number two? Topic number two. I don't know. Topic number two. Mike? It is Michael's topic number two. There you go, Mike. I forgot what my topic is. Is there music playing? Did I give you a topic? I think yeah, we so. have 30 minutes of it. Oh! Yeah, yeah I did. Uh, so, uh, we have some new added stuff now with the PS4 Pro and all this stuff. Yep. Do we think that professional gaming, i.e. eSports, deserves more of a focus on the PlayStation 4? And that comes via the way of, with it being so prevalent on Xbox for so many years, okay. do we think now the PlayStation is it is more prevalent problem? on Xbox? It, yes. Esports? I don't think so. If you as at fighting game, tournaments, they, they play like fighting games on PlayStation. I it's either yeah. PC, and if it's a console, it's Xbox. That's what the game. That's what like Call of Duty always goes for. Even Battlefield. Yay! Another trophy. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Eight? I want to say or eight. Seven. I want to say forty-seven. I think seven. Let me check. And Dave, I'm not wearing pants. That's the secret of Extra Life. That's how we get all the donations, because I'm naked. Okay, so is there, like, is the reason that they're playing on Xbox, though, just because maybe esports gamers Controllers, like to play well, on Xbox? On the PS3, you gotta remember the controller. Nobody, n you guys are the weird ones that liked it, but the PS3 controller, in my opinion, felt like ass. Um, PS3, it felt like I ass never, to everybody. PS4, I mean? never liked playing it. That's actually the main reason why I played more on the 360 than I did on the Xbox. Yeah. Um, on, well, coupled with friends and everything like that. Um, so the controller was a big one for them. Uh, so it geared more to that. Plus the partnerships that Microsoft made with Activision and all that. 
So now that there's more partnerships with Sony, it seems like with Call of Duty and stuff like that, you know, do we think that it's time that PlayStation gets its prime um, as the premier console to have an esports centric game on? You know, if you're going to look at something off a of PC. Um, what could be that game? Is there anything that comes to your mind? I mean, sure. There's, there's. I mean, there's a ton of different games that you could do. I mean, they, normally it was with Call of Duty, you right? Know, with Battle, you know, games like that, you know, always had their point. You know, uh, Greg brought fighting games, Street Fighter, um, everything like that. You know, a lot of times it was done on Xbox. So, you know, do we think that, you know, now the way that things are progressing, you know, esports is like I said, most prevalent on the PC for League of Legends, Dota, you know, Overwatch, you know, just got their esports nomination now. Um, but do we think that other ones deserve their time? on the PlayStation. I wonder if, uh, I've been hearing really good things about Rigs, and I know that's a VR game, but I'm hearing that- Why like, have I heard about that too? What is that? It's the the one where they're like in mechs. Yes, yes, it's just- And it's, supposedly it's like one of the killer apps for the yeah, PSVR, I hear that. especially from a competitive standpoint. It would be crazy if like eSports could like build around that and it wasn't just like, you know, these guys That's playing with their controllers, thinking, yeah. imagine these guys like really going at it, like they're in the it's headset. It's like that movie like, with Hugh Jackman where yeah, he trains man. the robots. Yeah, seriously. Like, that would be fun. Yeah, like battle bots for uh for yeah. humans, pretty much. Battle bots is fun. Um I don't know, I feel like I don't know, I feel like when I mostly think esports, I think PC. Yeah. I can agree with that, yeah. For the most part, but like I don't think there's like a favorite console necessarily, especially now that the PS4 is out. Like especially when it comes to fighting games, I feel like PS4 is more so the winner. But shooters just have their place with Xbox just because that's the norm, I feel. Right. Most of the time, though, I feel like you're most you're gonna see PC gamers when it comes mm -hmm. to like professional gaming, and I just think that's because obviously PC is updating the quickest, um, graphical process wise. It's fucking always up to par. Like you can always upgrade that, and now you can do that with like these new iterations of consoles, I guess, but not to the point where you can get it with PC. It's just gonna take that gap of making like PS4 like a like a tower. Where you can just go in and take out all the stuff and put in new stuff. Cough, Scorpio, cough. Maybe. We don't that's know. That's what I'm thinking. That's what well, we don't know that yet. Do we think uh, NX, or sorry, the Switch is going to be like... Remember the trailer? They were like really pushing the Switch yeah. esports. Yeah, yeah, and you know what's funny? Is someone even brought... There was a bunch of different websites that were like talking... You know, that brought articles. Sure, you Why would we Nintendo? ever want... <laughs> this is the Switch. Pretty much. Yeah. Why would we ever Quite want... What's it called? Splatoon as an eSport. That sounds like a horrible idea, yeah. and it wouldn't work as a, not as, as an eSport, yeah. as a fun co you know, competitive game. Yeah. 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 Um, in general, though, you know, like I said, it's not that it's extremely prevalent that you see eSports done on a console. But yeah. when it is done on the consoles, Microsoft by far had the corner of that market for mm -hmm. eSports stuff. Yeah. Heck, that's why they had the Pro Controller before anybody else. I think did. it was that, that um, had a lot to do with them being there first. Um, because just, the 360 I mean. controller was yeah. the controller of choice for consoles when it came to, came to competitive, and I think people just kind of stuck around in that space. That's yeah. what I mean. Right, that's what PS4 hasn't really been able to make a dent yet. It's right, like and that's what—that's kind of my question: is do we think that it's time for that? Do we think that it's appropriate for that? And yeah, you know, we can kind of go on with this as yeah, you know, what do we think would be a good kicking off point? Yo, know, like Drew brought up to me, yeah, you, know, you have Call of Duty, you have all these things, but yo, know, is it? You know, about, about time that Sony tries to, you know, get into it with the shooter space. They tried with Killzone, it didn't really work very well. Mm -hmm. They tried the the um, mobile space with Paragon, and it's different and it's good. People like it, but it's not good enough to where they're staying with it to the same extent that people in Dota and League of Legends and now Heroes of the Storm are staying into it. Yeah. So on top of that, I'm going to add to it. Do we think that we should get more ports of esports type games like Heroes of the Storm I have a question. on the console? I have a question. Mm -hmm. Esports. Like, what does that do for Xbox and Sony? Like, oh. do they profit off mm -hmm. that? Viewers? They can, um, yeah. Yeah, they can easily. So they... It brings in viewers. You know, if I... Let's say... It, I mean, it's not to the same extent, mm -hmm. you know, as here in the in the U.S., but overseas it is. And overseas... I don't, I don't know how deep you've ever gone into it. I've watched documentaries on it. It's crazy how much attention these pro gamers get over in Korea. Pro gamers... Yeah, they're like celebrities. Cele yeah. To, Football players here yeah. are peons compared yeah. to the pro gamers over in, in South Korea. Mm -hmm. You know, it's What's a peon? amazing. Huh? What's a like peon? Pawns, like Insignificant. Pawns. Insignificance. Oh, that's sad. So, it's... That's a dirty word, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> um, Got two so donations, much, by the way. Someone should oh, donate nice. a dollar every time. Got a $60 donation from Conrad and a $15 Sweet. donation from Buddy Doe. Awesome. awesome. Thank you, guys. 
Um, we can bring up the prize bill, I guess. Uh, for, for Conrad, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, they, Lord Anime said, I feel like it's like how you always want the latest Pokemon, because it's going to have the best art and the latest mechanics. It'll probably be the best Pokemon experience, unless they ruin it. Well, that was for, yeah, Gary Business asked if he should get Sun and Moon. Oh, I thought he was comparing it to this. 48! 48! They also asked what music are you currently playing? Ding. 50? Yeah. 49. 49. 49, okay. They um, also asked what music you're playing, because it says... It, Joey said it's making him feel sexy. It is sexy music. What is it? It's uh, oh, sexy. It's done by Gentle Love, <laughs> which makes sense, right? And it's all video game music with, like, saxophone. Yeah, jazz. Oh, did you play, um... The, what's the Mario one? Uh, Dire Dark. No, not, that one didn't show up yet, but that one oh, was Sneak it, Eater, which is real, okay. like... Dire Dark. Wait, did I do that? No, we, oh, did you yet? I told you to. TX Pop. Oh, yeah, I did that one okay. a while ago. We're going to spin now sure for spin. Conrad, who donated $60. He's That's the top awesome, donator dude. of the Thank hour. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's spin the wheel. Spin the wheel of Kiefer. $60. Sutherland, right? Okay. No. Oh, oh, we just missed it. Oh, God. Another okay, chubby bunny. Oh. Did you say Sutherland? I was thinking 24. Yeah. All right. Who is doing the Chubby Bunny Challenge? Conrad. Is he here? I haven't seen him comment at all. Let's make Eric do it. I really feel like Eric should probably do it. What am I doing? The Chubby Bunny, Bunny Challenge. Do you know how to do it? You stuff marshmallows in your mouth and you try to speak. Oh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm voting Eric for it and you have to read the script that we read with a Russian accent. <laughs> I don't know why because it would be just incoherent nonsense. Um, I should have killed you myself KP when I KP 2.0 said that we missed his wheel spins I missed this game. Can we do this? Okay, I mean... Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Not that I don't care. Like, I'm going to spin the wheel. I mean, I don't care to spin the wheel again. Just because, like, you know. They're... Rag and make Right. We're not overloaded with wheel spins right now. No, so. that's fake. <laughs> so even if we did spin the wheel for him, I don't care. <laughs> I'll do it again. All right, let's spin the wheel for, for right. KP. Because KP's been going nuts today. He's doing yeah, he's done so, so much. much. Yeah, he's a good person. He also owns your wife. He wants uh, he, you to do he it. He chose me. Okay. So you and Eric have to have a conversation. And I'm also doing a pterodactyl injury. So why don't you? Why don't I do <laughs> with the marshmallow in your mouth? Marshmallows in my mouth. And then pterodactyl. Eric doing? Something or other. I don't know. You're a marshmallow. Okay. <laughs> no, don't do that one. You're gonna die. Oh god. I don't like this. This is it. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Eric doing it too? Yeah, I don't know what he's doing though. We have to figure out what Eric's doing. What am I supposed to do? I mean, I can. <laughs> <laughs> You have to go up and act like a dinosaur. <laughs> if Eric's a dinosaur, he's the little green one that spits stuff. Watch the wires! <laughs> I don't like this. This is freaking me out. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This is amazing. This is nice. You guys are doing a really good job. <gasps> You're great. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. <laughs> 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 I like right down my throat. <laughs> I felt so weird. That happened. Should we create a garbage bag? Yeah. Oh so my like, god. I like inhaled and was like, start to in mom game. <laughs> okay. Dude, those things are intense. Does anybody like whoppers? Yeah, why? No. You, you do? Like, you want do you want like, them before I throw them out? Yeah, don't throw them out. I'll have them. Eric, hold on, I'm getting you this dirty bastard. Okay, rein it in, and can you just bear with me for a second? <laughs> you are freaking out! Okay, I'm just getting the whoppers. Oh my god, there's so many whoppers, just put them in my bag or something, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I just wanna make You're right, as soon as you take it out of your mouth, like... Fuck. I don't want Nobody wants whoppers, because they're the worst candy. Whoppers suck, yeah. <laughs> Eric, I'm gonna save this marshmallow I like how for Dude, I own your wife, days. Drew. You spin that mother effing wheel. <laughs> We, we only got nine game? more minutes. Jim likes to send me a pop in this hour. <laughs> nine more minutes in this hour. Let's see uh, where we're at, actually. Don't let me forget that there's a dried up marshmallow. On <laughs> so right now we're currently at. I, I knew someone it. was clipping that. This that was clip worthy. Mm -hmm. I feel like we were just here. Yeah, it's never gonna end. <laughs> we are doing the same game. We're at twenty three sixty. Look yeah. at Piha. She said, "Am I doing streaming right?" We just need forty more dollars in the next eight <laughs> minutes to hit our goal for this hour. Do it! Alright, so... P.S. No, you're not. We were talking about eSports. We're talking about... You were talking about what are the games that Sony should try and bring over. Yo, so they, they should be like PC games, right? Like Heroes of the Storm. I would guess, yeah, like something like yeah. that. Like, and what do you think, like... 
how do you think it should be advertised? You know, like, what do you think they should do to kind of get? I think they need to go. Like they were going a certain direction at one point, and I haven't heard anything about it since. Where they were trying to do like a PlayStation League. Yeah, and I saw like commercials for it and stuff, and like nothing ever came of it. It seems. Wait, yeah. I didn't even remember that. Yeah, they had like a PlayStation League, like an know. esports league. Um, and then remember you were gonna be able to like bet with your friends. and I stuff don't know, too? but like it disappeared. I know how the Sony breaks into the market. How? Huh. Mag two. And that's all I have. <laughs> That's, that's also called silence. Battle, what Battlefield is right now. Is Battlefield, Battlefield right now big? is yeah. Well, it's not as big, but that's because 256 it actually players. Works. No, but it's that's because fine. it actually works. But, uh, Battlefield on, car, on console right now is 64. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I, I think that's really good. I mean, so. they could do a little bit more, but it would be chaotic. Right. I'm gonna update. Dragon Con says I own her now. My sixty dollars beats yours. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm actually putting Dragon Con as the top donor of the hour. There you go. And I think KP is the top of the day. With like, I don't even know at this point, man. I gotta check. Let's add up KP 2.0's donations. Know. I don't really know at all. Eric, you're an odd fella. <laughs> Everyone loved your fella. dinosaur, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they said, Eric, you're awesome. I almost uh, passed out. That's a out huge marshmallow. Water. Yeah, when it came out of Eric's mouth, that made me cackle a little bit. <laughs> Cause he like, when he was so... doing the dinosaur noise, he kind of like sucked it in. Yeah, it was bad. I'm not sure how I feel about them know. making Thor fly in this. Why? So it's Thor fly? Yeah. Thor well, flies. KP, you're at 210. You're the top donator of the day so far. the momentum of the hammer? He I thought you... Also, this is Lady Thor. Just oh, okay, never mind. That's okay. Because I don't know jack shit about her, but I was always under oh, the impression boy. that Thor threw the hammer and he actually flew with the momentum of the hammer. I have a question. Flew around. Oh, is Thor like still flies? powerful yeah, without um, the hammer? Yes. Huh. You well, see how many times he drops it and he leaves it behind? Yeah. Yeah, he's, so, he's like super strong. So say two times? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so top donator of the day is currently KB 2.0 with $210. KP. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Money. Thank you, KB. That's so crazy, dude. It's money for the kids, though. The My trophy level points. is going up 20% today. So. Your what? My trophy level. All right, so let's move forward to our second mail time so we can try and catch up here a little bit. Oh, ho, Dean. And we have... Trophies by three. Dear, it only does PlayStation. Do you think Sony should address the recent network outages, considering the price hike of PlayStation Plus? No. Sincerely, no. Diclonius Games. No. The answer is no, because shit happens and the Jesus internet Christ. is unpredictable. Microsoft has charged sixty dollars for a whole year longer, if not if, two years, maybe. Mm. And Microsoft has had as many, if not more, outages than Sony has. Maybe not by the sheer number, but length of time, Microsoft has fared far worse than Sony has in the past few years. I've looked at the statistics of it, I remember it, I hear everybody bitching about it on Twitter and everything else, way more than I hear about it on Sony. So, okay. no. Yes, it sucks, yes, it's a pain in the ass, and yes, maybe they should address it, because they say, yeah, you can say, hey, listen, this is what's going on, this is what we're dealing with. If you didn't see, two weeks ago, the entire nation... You know, or the nations of the world were hacked. So yeah. clearly, it's not something that Sony's not doing anything right. It's that people are trying really fucking hard. So, relax a little bit. Yes, they could address it. You know, I think, you know, it would be I, great. If they yeah, did, I don't but think it, it was not that they're going over worthy the of addressing. Uh, and I honestly, the price hike, it just, it was about time. It just, it made sense for them to do. Do you guys it know what inflation point. is? Yeah, and they, they, I was surprised they didn't do it earlier. No. And I'm not saying saying it, it's awesome, like, yay, price hike. I just understood it. It made sense that they would go up. Right? Yeah. 2011 to 2016, it's gone up $10. Yeah. $10 in five years. That's $5. $10 a year. The fuck are you complaining it's about? It's $5 a month. Not even. It's like Dude, it's not. A eight, not even that. It's ten dollars. It Sixty for the year. It's eighty-eight cents oh, a I mean, month the, the raise. Increase was eighty-three cents. Eighty-eight a month. fucking oh, cents a month. I just month. mean in general, like five dollars a month. Who gives a balls? No. Yeah. Yeah. You it's... get four. You get if you own all three systems, you get six free games a month for five dollars right. a month. And you get internet access. It just it annoys me. Shut the up. Entitlement and cheapness of people when they realize that, like people right. forget how much they're spending on everything else mm -hmm. and then they bitch about a price like here and there oh a lot of people complain Mel a ton of people a lot of people that I just want to slap in the face because so many of them are reasonable and great people and I just don't understand how simple logic of business and inflation don't come across everybody as like oh yes that does make sense if they went up 
fifty dollars a year if it went from fifty to a hundred dollars yes i will be right behind you with pickets and saying fuck you i'm gonna get an xbox now i'm and more focused $10. on i think he's more asking about the outages more than the price hike than anything though and if it was another outage was another on the scale one, of yeah, like the 2000 i don't know 11 one or whatever whenever it was that the the network went down for a couple months that's a different story if sony were to address these kind of outages they would be admitting fault for like minuscule things like you know uh things that almost everybody's facing right now like you know ddos so stuff you know every, right they, like two weeks ago the entire world experienced the super outages of ridiculous measures that no one was ever prepared for or thought could happen yeah people were afraid that it could but we were always told no this would never happen and a group of individuals were able to gather together we don't even know who the fuck they were officially yet and essentially ddos the largest internet distributor of the world. They host so many different types of websites that everything was down. Twitter was down, you know, all the different gaming things were down. So, no, it's not that anybody is doing anything half-assed. Sony is probably doing whatever they think that they need to and can, you know, especially when they're already doing it for free and now we start giving them money. Like, I just don't understand where everybody thinks that because we're giving them money now, they are 100% perfect and are never going to have flaws. And like I said, especially when Microsoft is experiencing as many, if not possibly more, outages than Sony does. I just love when you go on rants because then the chat gets angry with you. I, dude, it's because, I don't know, I don't, I don't get it. Slap them, them, I cut them. I swear to God. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't make any sense to me that people can't, like, everybody is so quick to jump on the hate train. Like, no. everybody just loves it. Oh, fuck you, Sony. And then they, they did the same thing with Microsoft. Fuck you, Microsoft. They're the worst. Everybody is bad. Everybody has flaws. Get with the fucking year of 2016, 2017. This is the year of technology where not only do we have great power, but so does everybody fucking else. And they're going to use it for the bad things just as much as we want them to use it for the good. I feel so like I'm pretty perfect. deal with it. With great power <sighs> comes great responsibility. I'm done for now. I don't All think right. they should say anything. It's nothing they can do about it. If, like Andrew said, if it's if it was something on the scale of like the outages that they've had already, yeah, you could say something. Fuck off. <laughs> but uh, like just for like little outages, like they've been like no people. I mean, they can't really control people like constantly trying to like decrypt their shit. They can't control the fucking internet. The internet's unpredictable. It is yep. what it is. I also would like to confirm, Dean and I are both wearing shorts. It's true. Yep, Everyone keeps saying we're not wearing anything yeah, underneath, yeah. but we are. All right, let's go to something more fun and positive. <laughs> uh, the trailer of The Moth. This is a good one. It is funny. Check it out. Shrek it out. Shrek it out, guys. Shrek it out. Check it out. What's, yeah. what's, what's, what's it all about? Let's turn, let's turn, let's turn. Thanks, man. Thank Introducing the Supercharged PlayStation 4 Pro Console System. Okay. Discover the power of our super compact mega processor. Whoa. Revolutionary cord free player paddle joysticks. Whoa. And super <laughs> fresh graphics that are so real. <laughs> they suck you right in. Oh, because of the partnership. With they see bust your ass coming oh, in. Shit. Normally, right, I'd say it. fight me, but, like, let's not do that. It's the ultimate immersive gaming experience, where no one gets out alive. <laughs> Zombies in Spaceland, available in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Play map packs 30 days early, only on PlayStation, the world's most powerful console. This is for the players. Oh, it's actually pretty good, though. Dude, no, Black if, Ops 3 Zombies suck? If Call of like Duty it. released its Zombies mode, as a separate twenty dollar thing, we've I would buy it this. every year. We've talked about this so many times. They sold everything separately. They would actually make more money than they do doing it this way. And I'm surprised with Activision being as greedy as they are, they haven't done it yet. Because the only thing I want from Call of Duty games is the zombies mode. If they sold each pack individually, like if they sold the zombies mode for forty bucks, if they sold multiplayer for forty bucks, if they sold single player for forty bucks, I bet you they would actually make more money because people like me that aren't going to get the game because I couldn't care less about you know the zombies mode or you know even the story player mode, I might be inclined to get this, the multiplayer for forty. You know we get a little bit of a discount, but I don't care to get the whole like I, I don't know. I think they would make a lot more money that way. Goddamn Batman says I dropped eighty for COD remastered. No regrets. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that don't. Yeah. You're not alone. Rick is right there with you. It's crazy. We're making a um. What's it called? A Modern Warfare 2 remaster. Well, no, they not officially, but yeah, they probably are. Yeah. I would imagine, yeah. For next year's Call of Duty, because no one else is going to buy it. Thank yeah, you, Aaron. Right, for sure. We're gonna go to quick commercial break. I need to get something in me.
Not candy. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, I'm getting hungry too. Uh, just a snack or something. Uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes. What's up? I'm back. Says Pro Ball. Hold on tights. Also, I think we're at, yeah we're at the top of the hour, so we're gonna start a new hour here. The top donator of last hour was Dragon Con awesome, with sixty dollars. Let me write that down real quick before we leave. I am wheeling to the song. Job, what song is that? It's Tetris. Dude, that was Dragon Con. Thank you so much, Dragon Con, for your sixty dollar donation. Keep them going, guys. We're at the start of a new hour. You can be the top donator of the hour. You can get in on trying to be the top donator of the day as well. We got prizes for everybody. We got big prizes for the four top donators of the day. Go to levelupnetwork.com slash extra life. Support Children's Miracle Network hospitals throughout the United States like many others have done today. Our goal for this hour is now $2,500. Let's do it. All right, hold on tight. We'll be back in a few minutes. Buddy Dose. Grab your Kleenex, goes in here. Welcome back, guys, to It Only Does PlayStation episode 13. This is a Level Up Network dedicated PlayStation talk show on once every month, typically. We're going to move on to our third topic of the show. That one goes to, I think, Dean. We got is. another person in the room. I'll read now. it off for you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, you know what it is? No. <laughs> you chose this. What I just want to remember. It's The Beast Teaches You How to Earn Trophies. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. So uh, the, riff, the idea you had yeah. here is that you wanted to talk about the games okay. that are best for earning trophies. So I guess you could talk about what you're doing today, maybe even. Yeah. Yeah. Take like, us to your what's your uh, what's your, your strategy? Plan. How are you doing this? Now it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. For example, most of the time I'm doing this is for some kind of time-based competition. You know right. I mean? So the way to the like the way to really be most effective with your times to not actually go for platinums, which is probably, well, it's counterintuitive. Because you're like, oh, I'll platinum a game, I'll run through and get all these trophies. But the, the better thing to do is go for the smaller games that have a lot of, like, bronze and golds and stuff. Um, so that's kind of what my strategy is right now. I do have some platinums. The other thing, the other thing that's come in handy... Have you earned any platinums so far? One. Yeah, one. Um, the other thing that, that comes in handy is... Like I said, if you know that you're about to come to something like this, set them up. Uh, if, you, if you're competing with someone, you can like get close to getting them and kind of set them up. Right. Uh, that would be the other thing. So yeah, that's my strategy for today. What games are best for doing that? Any like I said, like you want specific actual titles or like just generally like what genre of games? Well, the kind of games that get you. Like, you can set up trophies to, to be received. Uh, well, as you may have noticed, LEGO games are really good for that. Mm -hmm. But right now I have, like, DLC, so there's, like, levels you have to play through from the get-go. Um, I hate LEGOs. Yeah, you mentioned that once or twice. <laughs> but it's, movie based video games seem to be are, pretty easy. Movie based video games are super easy. Yeah, that's a good call. Movie based video but games. But it's not are, just about really easy, it's it. about speed. Yeah, it's for sure about speed. So a lot of like older arcade titles, like or arcade like titles, I find are really good for it. Even stuff like Resogun, Stardust. Oh, he's growling at. He's growling at Eric. The heck, who's Bo? that guy? Wow, <laughs> let's go. He just realized <laughs> what he's here. What the heck, going? He, like just yeah, realized right this guy. I'm dying. It's just Eric. <laughs> <It's just laughs> what are you doing, dude? I thought I rubbed his ear weird or I something. Thought, uh, I'm 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 sorry. Eric, I'm sorry. You need to like. Can you come pet him? You need to come over and introduce yourself. Yeah, Eric. Have you not met Bogey before? Uh, yeah, he's I proud. Had, like I was uh, upstairs. Where uh, those? He uh, literally went like this. He said. <laughs> he's, what's the thing that Buckbeak like, is in uh, Harry Potter? What is it? What is he? He's yeah, like a Griffin Buckbeak. or something. A Griffin Buckbeak. or whatever. Buckbeak. Buckbeak? Buckbeak? Yeah. Right, right. No, but what was he? I'm saying that's what Bogey is. He's you have like, to like. You have to be proper. You have to introduce yourself. Yeah, right. Otherwise, he's going to attack you. You need to like genuflect before you <laughs> introduce yourself. Is to that Bogey. what it's called? Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, doing over there? every time Eric walks through this path, I'm horrified because one time what he does he stepped do? on my pull PlayStation Two. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he stepped Poor on my PlayStation Eric, says Two. Rick. Okay, let's see what happens really here. Like Very curious. Like, slow, slow down. This slow down. Well, this is the same one I have, but it's hard. Now, right, twenty-four inch. Foggy, this is Eric. 27. 27. Yeah. How much was it for you? Two something? Yeah. There you go. Right. Kind of low. Yeah. Stop so showing your ass, everybody. Eric. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I thought people in the chat, if they had anything to say about it. Alright, you're amazing. good now. You're good. You can they go sit down. Back go away. Us. We can answer questions. Since we've all kind of <laughs> been through like earning trophies. We're done stuff. with you. 
Um, Eric bowed. <laughs> I figured we could all like talk about our different. It's kind of what our strategy is like for the trophy war since we all did it. Or if the chat has stuff they want to ask about it, what we all. Oh, uh, like, let's see. Strategy. Thank you for the follow. Tell the Horizon or a Tomb Raider. What on screen right now? Yeah, this is Tomb Raider. Is it? It looks a lot like Horizon, though, doesn't it? Uh, kind of. Yeah. The tree, the, yeah, they're like the, the foliage. Yeah. Yeah. That's there we go. Okay, that's now the I, can I was see. Looking yeah. for. And yeah. Tomb Raider. Um, I guess for me back. during the trophy war, I was looking. It, it was all about how quickly I could earn a trophy. Like I would go on onto these websites and I look at. You know, it would obviously have to be in the easy category, but mm -hmm. it would also have to be under, like, five hours to platinum the game. Yeah. Like, that was, like, the big thing for me, is, is the speed. Mm -hmm. um, and as you said, the, the movie tying games were by far Telltale games the are actually, you want to stay away from them if it's mm -hmm. a They're too long. Thing. They're too long. They're it's too long. not, yeah, it's too not long. the They're ease. so it's easy, the, but yep. then that's where people go wrong. Yeah. I agree with I that. will say, also, um, if you have a PlayStation 4, subscribe to PlayStation mm -hmm. now. That was pretty helpful. Um, yeah. For at least for the month or whatever, because and it, it's free for the first month. But definitely do that, because that was a real big help um, when we were doing it. Because there's so many games that were released on the PS3, and so many of them were really easy. I mean, you can go the cheap route and do, like, Hannah Montana. If you can find it on there, I don't know if that's on PS now, but that was on PS3. But, um, what was it that Magus was the one. Magus was... Well, Magus... No, don't... Don't do that to yourself unless you actually It's feel like bad, you dude. To. It's real bad. That was fucking I rough. Mind, it's my, the worst game I've ever played. Uh, it's up there. It's worst game I've there. ever played. I liked the powers. Really? Like, what, what about the them did you like? <laughs> you, you literally just hold down a button and it's just shooting over and over again projectiles. There's nothing else to it. I didn't use those ones. I used, like, the ones where you could summon up demons to come help you. And, like, it would be, like, seven There are games that, then game. you need to play other games that have similar things to that, because there are far better, better ones that do No, there's definitely games. better. I didn't love the game, but it wasn't, like, as bad. Yeah, when Rick you guys set it up for me, bad. you all were like, that was the worst. And I was yeah, like, I got the right one. Um, um, Dave says, find games with lots of silvers and golds. Bronze is basically a participation trophy. I don't know if I agree with that. Not always. It depends. If it has a lot of bronze that are easy to get, 100% go for it. But he can be right. Some people look at all these, like, I'm hearing a lot of, like, now that I have seen what goes into getting some of these trophies, and I listen to, you know, like, when Kind of Funny does their, yeah. you know, trophy uh, list at the end of it, and I'm listening to some of these trophies and how hard it would be to get them, I'm like, that's not even worth it at all. You know, like, and so many of them are bronze. You know, so many of them are bronze just for finishing the entire game, which can take you, like, eight hours. Like, that, to me, is a gold trophy. I heard, like, yeah. The Last of Us has really difficult bronze trophies. I refuse yeah. to even touch that platinum. It's bullshit. That's a tough that platinum. That is a bullshit That is the trophy easiest run. platinum. What? You're so full of shit, dude. Get out of here. The Last of Us, all you need to do is play it through twice, and you get all the stuff. Yeah, but it takes forever. Yeah, but that one play, the playthrough on the hard difficulty. Going through the, only hard, the only fucking hard trophy ridiculous. in The Last of Us is both multiplayer Exactly. Campaigns. That takes tens that's of hours. That's a long time. It's yeah. But that's 25. Not, yeah, but that's not worth the platinum. That's then. a it bullshit. Takes tens of hours that's and, a bullshit. If you enjoyed yeah. the multiplayer mode, it's not a hard trophy. I didn't. I platinum the game three times. I didn't dislike the the multiplayer, but once I played through the Firefly campaign, I was like, "There's no way I'm doing this again." I yeah. did not. It was like so the much fun. I loved that multiplayer. I platinum the game three multiplayer. times. Multiplayer. Multiplayer. <laughs> Lego anything, like I was saying, I is always Lego. a good if you're if you're hunting trophies. Oh wait, you don't like. You don't like Lego? No, yeah, I'm not a fan. Okay, maybe you, could you know what was else surprisingly, uh -huh. was surprisingly easy that I'm mad didn't come out, uh, that I didn't wait for with it, was uh, The Division. Yeah. I only did part of it, but that was actually really easy. Um, I was surprised. A lot of games like that where they want it to be as accessible as possible mm -hmm. um, and have it have legs don't really put a lot to. Look at a lot of these online-centric uh, games, because uh, a lot of times they'll just put trophies in there just because. Um, I think the easiest one I did throughout the entirety of Trophy Wars... I could be remembering wrong, but the one where you're like fighting the people with the tower falling, with like the, with, the tower? with like the building falling, and you're like jumping on was the that gray. Platinum? Yeah, oh, platinum. Oh, the yeah, um, sky scrappers. Sky scrappers. Oh, that is yeah. sky one of the <laughs> quickest, if easiest you, platinums ever. Yeah, yeah that you was literally just play the easiest. game, and it's like bing, bing, bing. The bing, second bing. easiest was probably the goosebumps one, uh, quickest and easiest. And that one, you know, what's funny about that one is that like it was mind numbing. But it was actually pretty like effective. I didn't play Goosebumps. Um, Goosebumps, Goosebumps, Goosebumps is super easy. It's it that was super effective. Really you have bad, to you have to be easy. smart with it. You have to do multiple saves at multiple points. Okay. But you really need to follow a guide for it. Um, that's look the other up thing. videos to know what you're getting into. Right, that's the other thing. Like um, they played Snoopy, and then I got Snoopy for free from my cousin, 
And I, tr- I literally sat down on Snoopy for, t- it was like 25 minutes, and I was like, it's not even fucking worth Yeah, I didn't get the platinum Snoopy on it. I got a bunch bad. of them. I was looking through my trophies, and I saw it again the other day. I didn't, there was a couple things that I, where I missed it, and I was like, I can't go back and play Snoopy's this. Snoopy's the yeah. worst. Uh, it was too, that was too mind-numbing for That's me. That's the worst platformer I've ever played. Uh, Murder Soul Suspect was another one. Look at so. games that are off the beaten path that a lot of times have those tr- you most of the you have a lot of tr- you get a lot of trophies in that just for p- playing this story yeah. you know not even for exploring just for playing the actual story modes so look at things like that you know those types of games where they're not as often known of Dean's um, right look at end game though more so than anything yeah like if you look up a trophy list and it says you have to put in like 10 hours to the game just realize like don't get frustrated with yourself if you're playing the game for eight hours and nothing pops yet but then in another two hours you get all 50 trophies right like you got to look at end game too because where's dean at now he's at 50 right now but i know he's got plans mm-hmm. yeah i have plans it's a slow start but i I'm i mean honestly even if you hit 100 that's like pretty impressive it's it's tougher than people might think yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. um but he's going for three yeah are you um, feeling like you can hit three I don't think it's out of it's out of the realm of possibility at this Lethal point. Fight. I'm definitely behind where I would have liked to be. Uh, your fucking schedule. The Lego Batman two. Um, yeah. But I st- I think it's still possible. Right. Um, yeah, it's still possible. I, don't I know. think two hundred is definitely in reach. Yeah, I'm gonna ch- I'm I'm gonna keep trying. I'm not by any means like distraught over. Like I'm gonna keep pushing for it. Okay. Uh, well, there's a uh, there's one other thing I had. Oh, dig deep, dude! Like PlayStation, how they have their sales every week. Yeah, the sales are the best. Always look at the sales every time because there are games you've never even heard of on there. And every time I go on Trophy Guys, I look up I look up the guide, and there's always gems every single week. I'm gonna be playing some stuff later that you had never heard of in your life. Yeah. And they're easy as balls. Yeah. So always dig deep in the PlayStation. Store. Can you name off some of them? I don't even know the names. Yeah, I can show. They're I can that bad. Put them in here. Or are they not? They're not. It's not that they're bad. They're just uh, obscure. Like there's like this Albedo, eyes from the outer space. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, never uh, even heard of it. There's these arcade champion games: arcade archives, Renegade, Nova, Karate Champ. <laughs> karate Champ sounds probably like some of these are fucking. Can you play easy. Karate Champ next? Some of them, are, dude. It's literally like going to your menu, change the settings, change your brightness. Oh, there was that one. Like it's fucking um, crazy easy. What was that one with the uh, weird motion stuff that rush? It, I feel like it was like a rushing game or something like that. Rush on Limbaugh. The PSA. Huh? Rush Limbaugh. No, not that one. Um, that was the other one. <laughs> <laughs> rush uh, Limbaugh. <laughs> no, sure. you remember we were talking about where you had to like manipulate the guy? You had to, like there was one. Oh, thing detuned. You, was it detuned? Detuned. Yeah, that yeah. sucks. That was That's like, a, not a two fan minute plot or two minute hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Gravy says I wanted to try Albedo, Dean. Well, you're in luck. I'm about to try it for you. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. How much longer do you have on the uh, Lego game, by the way? Uh, I on can this one. I can go forever. I have all the DLC for every Lego game that I have here today. Christ. Yeah, it's a lot. There's a lot going on. That's, that sounds terrible. Yeah, it's all right. I like. <laughs> I, I I can I enjoy uh, them. It's just the time crunch that's on my back. You know. Yeah. Is it is it hard to enjoy these games while you're doing this? Yeah, totally. You don't. I'm not enjoying any of it. <laughs> but it's. I enjoy playing. You know what I mean. And I enjoy like making progress towards my own. Because after this day is done, like, I don't stop looking for trophies ever. I always look at trophies before I buy a game. I'm actually going for the tro- the platinum on Skyrim on this. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna, it's gonna be a little time consuming, but I always I, I always look at it and I always think back like that was the first game I should have 100 percented. Yeah. Um, and I never did, and I really regret not doing it. Um, I just for one want thing. Sony to release a fucking firmware update where you can delete trophy lists. Mm-hmm. Just let me delete them. Because you're bad. I'm never going to go back Greg, to Batman Do you have Arkham. any questions about how to be a good trophy hunter? <laughs> I just don't have the time anymore. I was talking to Dean about it last night. And I was you don't like, have the time or you don't want to have the time because alcohol? Because you're bad. Well, yeah, because I like to do other things. And because you're, you're bad at video games. When so. I was 15 years old, you can look at my old Greg Verga accounts until something. This comes up every them. time trophies come up. And I have. <laughs> well, my whole list is just hundreds. I don't have one game that's not platinum. Yeah, everyone can do that shit when they're a child. That's my point. It's when you're an adult that you prove if you're a real man or not. And no. I think we've proven that. Time after time. I could out drink you. That's what really does that present. have to do with I'm anything. not even sure that that's true, in fact. No, I could outdrink you for sure. I'm not if too sure. If we went beer for beer, I could outdrink you for I'm sure. I'm really not sure if you could. I know I could. For a fact. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm an alcoholic. Well, challenge. There's a monster Extended. within me that you don't even know. What are you know. doing tomorrow? Not that sleeping. 
That's true. <laughs> when you wake up. Yeah, I'm going to just keep sleeping, I think. Okay. <laughs> when we wake up, you can come over and watch King's Play, though. That's true. Go on. All right, let's that move on true. here. Yeah, we got to watch King's Play. I want to watch King's Play. Do it, then. Do it. You can if they're at 0%, Greg. I know you can if they're at 0 but, like, I have... Ar Batman Arkham Origins, I'm never going to play the multiplayer mode, and then Dean just notified me that last night, they're going to shut down the server soon. Yeah. So it's not even a game I could go back oh, to. You're going to literally make me keep that trophy set at 29%? Uh, That's Batman fucked up. Origins, we got so. new mail time. Dear, yeah, it time. only does PlayStation. What was your favorite television commercial? Oh, we already saw that one, right? Yes, yeah, we did. Was, we're looking at, you need Skip. Sony. Hmm. I'm not sure what happened there, but either way, I'm just going to read it off for you. Might be showing up later. Muta Crystallis wrote, All of the, of the, all the cup, no, I can't talk right now. Of all the upcoming PlayStation 4 exclusives. You got there, man. Which do you think you will spend the most time playing? I know it right off the top of my head. Horizon Zero Dawn. I can't wait to be in that game. I am so fucking excited for that game. You yeah. have no idea. Totally. You have no idea. Can and I'm getting off... the Aloy statue. Uh, I'm just going to stare at that more than I play PlayStation exclusives are upcoming. We have... That I'll give them to you right we now. We have Nino Cooney, Spider Man, Spider Man. We have God of War. Yep. Um, Resident Evil Seven. Days Gone. Dreams. Days Gone. Resident Evil Seven. God of War. Is that it? Yeah. So another one I'm missing here. I Is Kingdom like Hearts HD two point eight? Yeah, those are that's PlayStation exclusive. Yeah. And the Kingdom Hearts collection. Yeah. If not, job, I'm just talking about strict not remasters. I'm talking. I'm playing. The fuck out of Horizon. I know it. So here's the thing. You gotta I just remember. Can't wait. I, I don't. It, it depends on what how he intends his question. Which game are you gonna put the most time in? Yo, know, because you enjoy it. Versus which game are you gonna put the most time in? Because it's gonna take a lot of time. I feel like on, out of all of them, Nino Cooney is probably gonna take the most amount of time. Yeah, reasonably. Um, <laughs> because it's a JRPG. Yeah. Exactly. So that's a little bit unfair. Now, I might I might very well put the same type of amount of time. You know, passion and everything like that. I'm going to Look, bet oh, that if they... The fuck is going on behind I'm talking, me? I'm talking, okay? <laughs> I'm going to bet that if they deliver on Days Gone in the way that they're hinting at, mm -hmm. I feel like that is going to put be something that I both yeah. willingly put time into, be a big game. as well as you... Yeah, you have to put time into it. Cause yeah, we don't know like how big Horizon is. We don't know how big Days Gone is. Those are both open worlds. Horizon's I feel like Horizon's going to be like Horizon's Far Cry. Very large. Where Did it's you guys be... read the Game Informer article on Horizon? No, I know, but I feel like it's wow. going to be very similar to Far Cry, where they say that, because they say the same thing about every single Far Cry, and you put so much time into it, but it stops at right around... I think like I won't 30, put any more... Than, I think 20 hours is probably what I'll put in the Horizon. No. You think I'll put in as much time as they allow, but I... For I mean, the story mode, I'll finish just strictly story mode, I think it's going to be like... 15, That's what I'm hours. mostly gonna do. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do some side quests. And then the you know? side quests I think are gonna be another like 15, 20 hours. No, I think that's a dream. Persona 5 yeah. was brought up in the I chat. Would love that's that another big to be one. The case, but I, don't think so. I think Horizon's a 40 hour game. Oh, yeah, Persona. Oh, that, never mind. Forget Nino Kuni. Persona's gonna be the Persona one that will be huge. That one will be like 80 into. to 100 hours. Um, I mean, I guess. KP, thank you so much. Enjoy your food. If if 7 Remake you know, is, is really a PlayStation exclusive, then that's gonna be huge. For me, if one yeah. is um, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy remake. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's World Final huge. Fantasy right now is yeah, that's a big, a big one. That's that's there. like a forty-hour game. Mm -hmm. Breath that's of the Wild, uh, not PlayStation, but yeah, that's gonna be huge. Mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild, I think that's gonna be like an eighty-hour game. I have a feeling. Breath of the Wild, oh, Dramada. Dramada. It's multi-platform, right? It's gonna be that's a multi-platform. Multi -platform. Yeah, yeah, that probably that so for say you. That's like an eighty-hour. I bet you anything for you, that's gonna be more time than Horizon will be. Oh, for sure. Mass Effect, yeah. Mass Effect is like. I'm excited for that. I'm really I think it's a into series. It. I think and Mass I, Effect might... No, Kingdom Hearts, though. So. Mass Effect's, Mass Effect's in my top three. Yeah, I'm really same. mad that we don't have a remaster collection for it's the current coming. generation. It's coming. Dude, the game comes out in March. Like, I there's no way I'm going to be able to put that much time... No, but that was stupid of them. If they were going to do that... They should have put it a full year before. I mean, you guys have definitely had like ten years to play the trilogy now. So. Yeah, no, I know, but I haven't. Want, I haven't gotten to play it on the current yeah. gen console. And you should have played it when they fucking came out like a real boy. I didn't have any. Like a real boy. boy. Right now, you're Pinocchio. <laughs> Apparently, um, Dolan Gunman says Final Fantasy VII was a timed exclusive. I thought it is, and it was. It was play it first on PlayStation Four. We don't know what that means. Does that mean it's coming PC. to PC? No, they, they they did tease for PC. They never said anything. They just said coming first to PlayStation Four. I, most people assume that meant PC because it makes more sense than Xbox One. But even if it was announced 
as multi-platform or time exclusive before doesn't mean it's going to be now. Yeah. Like, I mean, considering how poorly Xbox specifically has done yeah. in Japan um, and how poorly JRPGs sell on Xbox, they might decide not to. I, who knows? Run. You're right. Oh, God. Um, I just feel like it's weird that... It makes me... It weirds me out that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be on Xbox. Yeah, that's another one that I feel like they like, might none of turn the around. Think they're going to put on Xbox. Xbox. I feel like they could turn around on that. It's yeah, just, I don't think, it's, I don't think it makes sense monetarily for them to put it on Xbox. Hey, we made 74 games. We're going to remake them all for the PlayStation 4, but you guys can have three. Were you here for it when <laughs> we were so talking about weird. how it, it makes more sense to put it on the Switch than it does yeah, to put it no, on the Xbox? That was in our chat, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, we were all talking about that in the yeah, chat. It that makes much more sense to put it on the Switch than it does on the Xbox. It would do better there. There's been Kingdom Hearts games on Nintendo. There hasn't been... A single Kingdom Hearts yeah. game on, on Xbox yet. Yeah. They've had Game Boy. Game Boy was the first one. Was it Game Boy? Re-Chain of Memories. Was yeah. that a Game Boy? That was my, fa- that was my first Kingdom yeah. Hearts on a Nintendo system. Yeah. And then they had uh, 358. And they had the other guy. And then Dream Drop Distance. Yeah. yeah. So there's games. been a lot of games on the Nintendo handhelds. It makes sense. Like, honestly, I could see them more as a Nintendo thing than a um, Sony thing. I feel like the cartoony graphics, it just seems more family-friendly that way. Uh-huh. But uh, Nintendo sucks balls, so... <laughs> we don't know that yet. Not yet. Mm. They could. You could be right. Although I, do, I am enjoying the Smash today, so I can't front on that. That's true. Yeah, I feel like your your issue with Nintendo is more so you don't have enough exposure to it. I with guess. the new stuff. I just... Because mm. there's a lot of new stuff that's fun, and it's not a primary console at all. You know, and I don't hate the Wii U. In any way, it's just that it's not. It doesn't grab me. It doesn't pull me in. Like I keep, if I want to play a game, I go over to PlayStation. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Rick says Mass Effect is his favorite series, 100. percent Guys, we have 47 people in the room. 47 people, but no donations this hour so far. The fuck, guys, we need your help. The children need your help. Go to the levelupnetwork.com slash extra life. Donate whatever you have the means to. $20 or more mm-hmm. will get you a spin of the prize wheel. It all goes to Children's Miracle Network Hospitals mm-hmm. throughout the United States. We're at 2360. Our goal this hour is 2500. We still have over half an hour to do it. I know we can do it. Please donate now, whatever you can. It's for a great cause. Mm-hmm. We're going to move on to the final topic of the show from Gregory. Go ahead, Greg. Guys, I wanted to discuss with you, and Drew, I might ask you to play some. The best video game soundtracks. Ooh, I like this. I what themes that. stick out in your head when you think of a game? What's the first song that pops into your brain hall? Well, I mean, you guys all know where my mind goes. Yes, yeah, Journey. Easy. And I'm going to bet you... Journey's one of them, yeah. No, it's oh. Uh, One Winged Angel is actually not my favorite. Um, really? When it comes... I know Mel was really looking forward to this, because she wants to know, like... She knows I'm into Final Fantasy, obviously, and, and mm-hmm. the music, but, like, what's my favorite mm-hmm. of the music? And it might mm-hmm. be a surprise to a lot of you that 8 is actually my favorite, not 7. Hmm. Is 8 um, the one with the love song? Uh... It has a, a love song. Yeah, 8 is the most romantic, I would say, of all the Final yeah, Fantasy that's games. that's the one I like. Eyes on Me is a very romantic song. But I was more thinking of, uh, whenever I'm like in a like a relaxed, calming mood, 8 is immediately the game I go to. It's got Fisherman's Horizon. Actually, I'll put on some music uh, while we're listening yeah, here. That's what I want. While we're talking about it. Uh, Can you get uh, Dire Dire Docks? In that, uh... Uh, yeah, Dire Dire Docks is great. It's a great that do... was my favorite one in that playlist. Obviously, the best video game soundtrack of all time is Kingdom Hearts. That's a great one. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say the greatest. It's up there. It's, it's, it's definitely a really good one. Don't get me wrong, it is up there, but I don't think it's <gasps> the greatest. We need to play Akari. The what first song that? I think of when I hear someone asks anything about video game music is The Legend of Zelda. Every oh, yeah, that's a, yeah, iconic. Always. That's the first thing that comes to mind. can you sing it for us? No. <laughs> we, we, we Here's, were actually just playing it a bit ago. In my opinion, one of the best. I wanted you to sing From it. Final yeah, Fantasy ever. I'll put it up on there. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys ever even heard this, but... This is the opening to Final Fantasy VIII. I've heard this in your house. Have you? Mm-hmm. This, uh, first of all, it wasn't just the music, but the opening when this game first came out was just like, it blew people's minds. It was just, it had CGI that like nobody had ever seen before. And look at it now, and it's nothing special, is right? Eight, but um, Squall? Yes, and Renoa. Yeah. yeah. Have you heard this? I've heard this. This is a good one. I've never seen the video. So for me, oh, that's cool. when I think, it, like, when people ask me about video game music, yeah. in general, my mind immediately goes to like Mario and like stuff like that, like those Duke, types Duke, of songs. Duke. I don't think they're the greatest of all time and all. Well, look at that I girl on the drum; she's loving it. But the uh, <laughs> right, and it, I mean, I do think it's yeah, I think about it. because of what I'm playing, but also a little bit, um, and it's been for a while. The uh, Skyrim 
Um, oh yeah, that's a good I can't song. Remember what it is? Was uh, the official title is? I never even played Skyrim, but I often listen to that Overwatch oh my God, song. I love it. Yeah, and it's funny because now that I'm playing the game again, I'm like, I don't know why I keep singling out that one because it's not like it's bad, but all the other ones are so good, and it's just it's so charming. And then um, mm -hmm. on top of that, then Ori and the Blind Forest always resonated with me. I think that like that I've listened to over and over and over again. Do you have the jazz version of Dire Dire Docs? I do, you know yeah. About? You do have that? At first, I'm going to go to Hikari, because okay, I agree with Greg it. that Hikari is one. really... It's one of the best themes to a video game I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. When I think of, like, a, th a, a game that has, like, a theme yeah. that, like, pervades the entire franchise... Hikari. Like, Hikari. Hikari. Yeah, like, it's just... It's just so fucking good. Oh, this is the uh, Critical Hits version. Let me try and find the original one. You need the piano. No, I don't want to do the piano one. I, I like the orchestral one. Myself. The orchestra one's on Spotify. Why don't you just search? Yeah, there's a ton of dude. There's. So I only have many. the piano medley on it. Dude, I, there I have like four or five different versions of Akari on my uh, playlist. <sighs> I wish I could that's find pretty. it. Overwatch soundtrack is good, but you know what? Strife, as long, much as I love the game, I don't think that's a standout point for them. Kristen oh, is good. It's currently it's listening good. to Human by Christina Perry. Yeah. This I think it was in Symphonic Fantasies, wasn't it? <laughs> this is it, I think. Oh, Halo. Um, yeah, here you go. Uh, what's it called? Oh, Beyond. this is the, the oh. big one. Yeah, this is amazing. This is yeah, the cinematic Beyond. Hikari. Yeah. When they saw the CG. Like, what were you thinking of? I was thinking of the, like... No, I guess I was thinking of this. This is... But this is the one, the this best, is the one from two. No, this is from one. Are you sure? Yeah, the, literally before the game starts, like, before you even get to start the game, this is, like, the opening before the, the menu screen. Yeah, you're right. Mm, yeah, you're right. I mean, Dean would know, right? He played Kingdom Hearts 1 recently. This is it. No, but this version of it, I mean. I couldn't play it. it yeah, it's the same. Oh. This is, they pretty much, Hikari's always the same. They don't well, really yeah, always it. the same, like, melody to it, but yeah, I mean, like, the, the orchestra, same, right. this version is, I pretty, I don't know why this resonates with two for me. Now it's different. This is the credits to Kingdom Hearts 1. Yeah, and this is what it's scrolling, and you see, like, all yeah. the same characters of what's going on after you leave the worlds and stuff. Play the best is yet to come. That's another great one. Um, that's Metal Gear Solid. Why are we pausing your car? Right? <laughs> that's a good question because we can't play all of them too long, right? I don't know if they have the best is yet to come. I feel like a car. We can play forever. Is the best? Is that it? A car is the shit. Um, no. that doesn't look like it would be it. I don't think they have it on Spotify. Let's play. Unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think they have it on Spotify. Can you play... Do the Dire Dire Docs Jaws one. Yeah, I'll show you Dire Dire Docs real quick. That's good. Sorry, I just re <laughs> I really like that one. We need to play... That's from uh, Gentle Love. Yes, it is. I actually really like the score oh. to the Super Mario Galaxy games. Up oh, two. Nope, three. That's a good there one. There we go. They have some great music. There's our Peppy. There's a nice Peppy one. This is the, the baby making music right here. Trophy! 51? Uh, 50. 51. 51. 51. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I listen to this on my way home from music. your house at, at, after we do the show most nights. Let's go on. Yeah, it's a good one. It's very calming and it is in tune with what we were just doing, so it's very fitting. Snake Eater's great. I actually played Snake Eater earlier. Oh, you know what's a great one? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. God of oh, War. It's the best God of yeah, War. I love that one. There's nothing more dramatic than that soundtrack. It was too much for me though. I had the God of War theme on my PS4, and every time I started you, my uh, PS4, uh, it'd be like three in the morning, and it'd be like, uh, and I'm like, oh, four up. Like, I, I can't deal with yeah, that. Yeah, it's Sorry. a little too much for me. It's a lot, but it's nice. I don't see to me if I'm when I'm listening to this stuff. Uh, I don't like the. Big, loud, and boisterous orchestral stuff as well. God of War is the inception stuff. of video game soundtracks. Like when, like <laughs> the, the so, Batman okay. stuff. <laughs> like um, when, uh, like the Batman soundtracks are some of the best um, movie sound. Like especially Batman Begins. Yeah. Um, but the like the ones with the heavy drums are not my favorite. Same thing like Sephiroth, like the one Ooh, for Sephiroth. Arcade Archives. Ha, ha. What about? <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. Yeah, 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 It's a great it's one. A good one. Now, it definitely hasn't been 9.5 hours, has it? We started at 8, so that's 5 plus... Oh, it's 8.5 8. 8. 8. 8. hours. 8.5, not 9.5. 7.5. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 7.5. 8 to 12 is 4. Yep. Yep. Okay, 7.5. 7.5. 
So yes, two hours less than 9.5. We're already wasted. <laughs> We're already wasted. Yay! 52! This is Ori the Blind ah! Forest here, not PlayStation, but... Um, Can you do Uncharted? Sorry. Do you have Uncharted? Yes, you do. I see it. Is yeah, I have Uncharted. Oh, the of Us. Well, that's supposed to be great. <laughs> I like this version of Keep Calm and Carry On. It's actually not the name of it. It's actually ahead on our way from oh, Final Fantasy 7. Hey, what are you at? 53? 53 now. 53. <laughs> What he was talking about, literally changing the display setting. Yep. Furniture. No, you don't even have to change it, you just have to act like you're about to. <laughs> is this for Lego? No. Oh, it's for it's like elevator project. music, but I love it. an underrated soundtrack? Them. What? The Heavy Rain soundtrack. That's pretty good. It's a very good one. I own it because I got the special edition of the game, it's really good. Life is Strange is a really good soundtrack. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. Ready. 54. Uh, yeah, the Heavy Rain one's really good. Rick makes a good um, point. Uncharted 4's version of the theme is really, really yeah, good. Yeah, Because it, really it brings you back through all three games. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> I'm not an asshole, it's for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is one of my favorites, obviously. Oh, yeah, this is the song I want to play at my funeral. Where is it? That's the part where it gets good. There we go. I gotta, I gotta start right here. A little further. <laughs> what are you gonna be for? No, this isn't what I think of when you I like think it. Journey. Uh, this is like I'm my watching. favorite song from you like the it, way. I like it. I need to read the whole man. Sure, I'll read it. This isn't your, the song? This is the ending theme. <laughs> no, what's the first one? That's Nascence. Play that one. Okay, I will. <laughs> I, just gotta, I have to hear this part. Right? 56. This is your funeral song, 56. you said? One, two, three, four. I don't know. How many? Like, this is the part where he gets above the clouds, finally. And it's at the top of the mountain. When you shoot up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope Andrew is track. Yeah. Like, this is... Uh, I, this is it. the only song I've ever listened to that alone brought me to tears when I was playing the game. Like, this moment, like, I, like, I just lost it. Like, I started crying. Like, listening to this Were music. you with somebody? Yeah. My family was in the room. <laughs> yeah. No, Which, no, no. Like, in the game, did you have a buddy? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm keeping track of how many he's missed so far. Two. Two, two. yeah. No, yeah, no, my, 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 my parents were in the room. My brother was in the room. I was playing... Uh, with somebody who drew a heart in the snow at the end, and like, that was what was so weird about it is like usually I can keep myself together when I'm like around other people. <laughs> <laughs> but like I remember like leading up to that moment, I just remember my brother going like, "Dude, I got chills right now." Like just yeah. watching, he's like never seen the game before, and it gets above that part, and I just like started like started crying. That's and I was like, "What the part. hell is going on right now? This game is insane." Now I could actually play this game and try to get the last two trophies, <laughs> or I could just go into the next one and keep doing this. Fifty-eight, right? Sure. Okay. the last two. And he got three. No, you, got, no, you were right with I'll 57. 57? To get the last two, you actually have to like... That get, looks get horrendous, game. whatever game it is. I haven't even played it. What? <laughs> I just opened menus. That's awesome. Someone donate? We did get a donation! $25 from Ricardo! Yeah, okay, That's awesome. Who, are you, so who are you, Ricardo? Who are you? Ricardo! Let us know who you are. Let us know who you are so we can give you a wheel spin. That's oh, weird. I hope we land on video game scripts. Ricardo. I hope so too. Actually, no, we can't. We can't until the wheels refresh. I mean, I could no. refresh the Oh, you only, you only put one script on there? Yeah. Really? Per wheel, yeah. Hmm. I figured I, we're, we only we have five of, scripts, so... If we run out of scripts... We can always get more. Yeah, I yeah. have a, a backup. We should at least... One or two more per wheel. You know what else is really okay. good that uh, came out recently? Also by Austin Winery. The Great Abzu. soundtrack, Abzu. Oh, did you listen to Abzu at all? Um, I did because guess who tweeted it out? Um, Ashley Johnson. Oh, She's a yeah. big fan of Abzu. It's beautiful. The game is gorgeous, and the music is right gorgeous. there with Journey. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. What is that? It's where, a did knife. You, where did you get it? That's a knife. Let's see what else we have on here. Give us a, we need Uncharted, we it's need The Last of Us. Too. How does The Last of Us go again? It's like... You remember when I said it? Do, did anybody know what the Halo song is? It's called yeah. the... Or the well, dance. I just had the Halo Suite on here. Yeah, but there's there's actually a need to the one. Do you Dearly Beloved? Uh, I have a piano version of it, yeah. Well, that's kind of the only version of it. right? I was just gonna say, is it an only piano? Let me uh, see. Dearly Beloved's a great one. Yes, the Kyle Andrew. Kyle, one. Kyle Andrew version is real good, yeah. He's really good. Where is it? Right at the bottom. Albums. Albums? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, this is good. I like this. Unforgotten. Unforgotten? 
this is like to me what the prelude is to Final Fantasy. Like they're yeah. so great and they're so yeah. iconic. Oh, and Dearly Beloved is probably my favorite part of, Final, of uh, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. This I like more than Hikari. I don't know if I've heard this version. Okay. I have. This We've is one of the ones. Together. It's really long though, right? This is the one that's it's 11, 11 minutes. 11 minutes. Yeah. yeah, this is the one I don't play often because it just goes forever. I fall asleep to the soundtrack. I love it. Let's get into it. This reminds me of Riku and Sora when you find Riku. Yeah, like this the... isn't dearly beloved yet. Come on, let's go. It's coming. It takes a little while to get there. He gets He's crazy. building up. Wait for it. Here it comes. There it is. Yeah, like it's so simple. That's what's so good about it. I want to learn it. It can't be that hard. What was it called, Mike? Uh, Unforgotten. The Unforgotten? Uh, Martin O'Donnell. There it is. Ricky Ricardo 10, he is in the chat. I am here, spin the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. This is like the the menu music, right? This is the menu music. Dave wants to know, Dean, was that six trophies without even playing the game? Because there was, uh, Correct. yeah, pretty Correct. much. There was, Good choice, uh, man. Good choice. When Halo 3 came out. <laughs> Thanks. I have three more just like it. <laughs> when Halo 3 came out, I didn't, I didn't play a ton of games at the time still. Yo, know, money. Because we were in high school, yeah. I think, right? And, uh, but like, this is all I played. I was like all upset. Because I, I, I was pretty much all multiplayer centric when I was, you know, younger. And like, this was on the TV constantly. You know, even when I wasn't playing, it was just sitting there ready to go. So when I was ready to play, I can just go and grab the controller and get right yeah. into it. All right, we got 13 minutes left in this hour. We're closing off Ricky the door with us PlayStation. Says, Muy bueno. We'll just go to the chat for the next 13 minutes and try and get donations. Guys, we've had a $25 donation from Ricky Ricardo this hour. He is the top donator of the hour. He will be getting a prize in the coming weeks because of that, unless you donate more. You go to levelupnetwork.com slash extra life. Donate whatever you have the means to. It all goes to Children's Miracle Network Hospitals mm -hmm. throughout the United States. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we're currently at. Let's find out. Oh, well, we still honest. have one more question. Thirty-six too, eighty-five for it only does PlayStation. We do. Yeah. You're right. Let's do that right now. About that. What? I shake it. Uh, you I shake it. Uh, no, I don't like this one. Do you want me to refresh the wheel <laughs> so we can get back to video game skit? I just yes. had a lot of fun with that one. Can we add at least two more slivers of video game skit? Are you able to, are you okay with doing that? It would be. I could maybe do it. I, I'd rather just refresh. Well, don't not... refresh the wheel because we need to let it run out. Do we? Yeah. Well, yeah. What else is on there that we? Nothing that's yet. like you know. It's not like we're giving away ten dollars PSN cards and stuff today. So. No, I know that, but I'm saying like it's lightning rounds we have to do. Was there anything on the wheel that we haven't done yet? Is what I'm trying to get at. Um. Oh yeah. If there's things good. on the wheel that we haven't done yet, we should. I don't know. Mm. I don't think there is actually. I think we've done Can all the different styles. Can you do me a favor and like fake spin? I mean, it's gonna spin after I'm done this, but. Lip sync challenge. Costume. Bean boozled. Bean we haven't done bean boozled thing. yet, but there's so the many bean boozled on there. The Dean's demise. We haven't done bean boozled. Lightning yet. round. I told you, I don't care. I'm done with bean boozled. No, there's nothing on here that we, What's we need to do. What's the little blue sliver? All right, then we can refresh. That's, it. What is that? Lightning round four. Lightning round four. Yeah, that's it. All right, we're not. We're refreshing it. Do we see whatever this one is? Oh. <laughs> it's refreshed. Like I said, do you think you can add like one or two? I'll just refresh. You know, yeah, we'll if, refresh if we really want to get something back, I'll refresh. Because it's all, all the right. same kind of categories on the wheel this time around. It's not like, you can see they're all mostly the same size, too. Yeah. Um, it's not like before where we would have it's a, nice wheel. a whole bunch of <laughs> XP nice wheel. and this and that. It's it's, nice we simplified the wheel for this. What's that, Moby? I do think that we should make the. Uh, oh, that's a nice boulder. That's a nice boulder. <laughs> <laughs> we should make this a uh, regular thing, the uh, scripts. Skits? Yeah, I mean, we could go for it. We have to get a whole bunch more. Oh, we, yeah, we could we could go pile up. I yeah. mean, think about how many video games are fucking out there. Like, there's, yeah, it's. it's I have four more great ones that I picked out, and then I just have a bunch of quotes as backup. Dean uh, was helping me select scripts, and he's like, "Why don't we do God of War?" So I just have lines from, that we all have to yell. Goliapy! All right, well, let's move on to the final on the spot, or actually in the spotlight, or what's it called? Mel Mel time. That's it. <laughs> Mel time. She was like, what show am I making? Now? Yeah, there's so many shows <laughs> we have today. Dear, it only does PlayStation. Do you think there should be separate reviews for PlayStation 4 versions of multi-platform games? Sincerely, Jose Munster. Why? Uh, 
Like, what was the I'm more inclined to have different reviews. Like, see, like, with, when it comes to the multiplayer versus single player, I'm Thank you for more against that than I am against this. Like, this makes more sense than that, because these are actually two separate products that you buy individually. Um, so that makes a little more sense to me. <laughs> Uh, typically, there are some games that sell multiplayer. I'm, I'm, I'm really back. confused. I'm <laughs> so happy you went back. Do you think there should be several use for PS4 versions of multiplayer games? <laughs> like, as opposed so to, like, like, so PS4 <laughs> should be reviewed differently than nasty. Xbox, which should be differently reviewed Potentially. Than I think it, it maybe the if there's that much of a difference between the two. Yeah, like, that's, like, there's almost never a point between them. Like, especially for multiplayer <laughs> story, maybe. God, I hate you. If there is a... <laughs> Yeah, well, if there's like a discernible difference, I could see there being a reason for it. But otherwise, it can just be inserted into the review. Like, hey guys, the Xbox version has 720p versus 1080p. This, you know, or whatever. Remember you know? what Game Informer? I don't know if they still do it, but the uh, second opinion. Yeah, they, like something like that. Yeah, that's what they should do. There should be like no. Like, uh -huh. God. <laughs> You're at 60 though. The 60. look that he just gave Mike made my life so much better. He said 60. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Um, so right oh, now you're about on track for 200 trophies. Hold your your pace. <laughs> hold on to that bot. <laughs> 204 trophies, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> now on track for 204 trophies. What do you think, Greg? Do you think there's any reason to... I'm going to give you my opinion. That's exactly what I'm asking for. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm asking I for. I want to say that... I feel like for certain instances it makes sense. <laughs> like, He's a happy guy. Come on. Like, for example, Rise of the Tomb Raider on PS4 because it came out a year later. I think that should have a separate review from the other games. That's, from the other but that's different, and that's even well. In that part. case, I feel like it makes sense, but yeah. I don't think it should. Like, if uh, if <laughs> <laughs> like if Assassin's Creed. Comes out on Xbox, PC, and PS4. Like, I don't think there's any reason why those need to be separate reviews. Like, as a remaster? This literally no, makes like up for the entire morning. I just <laughs> caught up with, like, 30 seconds, dude. What game is this? These are the arcade classic know. things. He's gonna, he's gonna it reset, seriously he's gonna has this many now. trophies this quickly? Yeah. yeah no. It, it has this many. <laughs> 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 yeah, they can see it on the screen. They're Dave said Dean just went no, he doesn't have it. I don't have it up right now. Palm is it up. kind of the best uh, thing ever. There you go, I now agree with you, Dave. I had it up most of the time. KP says, what trophies are you getting right now, Dean? None of them. This very well, what game is that? This is... Arcade Archive. Arcade Archive's Nova, Nova. 2001. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> trophies are trophies. Did you buy this game? Yeah, I bought them all for a dollar a piece. That's not bad. Money well spent. <laughs> I'm happy. This is why you're going to be able to do this. 64 in seven, almost eight hours. That's not bad. It's pretty good. If you can find enough differences, I agree, Dave, then you can do different reviews for different consoles, but otherwise, who does that sound? Sometimes there's differences for single player in one game versus another, like with free DLC versus not free DLC, hence yeah. Tomb Raider being considered. And with the extra DLC, does that help or hurt the game? Because was the DLC good or not? You know, yeah. that's a little bit different. Multiplayer, there usually almost isn't any differences. The only difference would be if it has has cross connectivity play with you know PC. Microsoft is now able to do that to where you can play online with PC players. So, yeah. if are you that... trying to say Microsoft is the better one? No, I'm not saying that at all. Because if you but start saying... this war, you'll fucking lose. That's oh boy, not sure. Wow. I'll tell you that um, right. The fuck I, I, I I could play devil's advocate wow. extremely easily. Council wow. Warriors. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, no, that's I, my I Super know. Saiyan mode. When you bring up Sony and how much I love them, that's when I get fucking golden hair. <laughs> that's a, that's a poor You're really that Saiyan versus man, Chloe and... That's a what? It's a poor Super Saiyan mode. That that's and Chloe versus Elaine. And what is it? That or Chloe versus Elaine. Elaine now? Whatever. Who the fuck Who is Elaine? No one was cares she because Chloe is better. Elaine. <laughs> This is what I have to stream with for 25 hours. <laughs> Elaine from Seinfeld is who you played that video game with. Yeah, man. Because I'm, I'm not even going to acknowledge choice. that with an answer. Noble Metal Gamer brought up Elaine. a classic trophy game. Uh, oh my god, One that did I did that. twice. Did you, I did too. Ob's Animals. Oh, I got both of them. Yeah, that's like eight trophies in 20 minutes. This game, guys. This On each version. John said, anyone else get... <laughs> anyone... Anyone else's junk wiggle when the trophy bell rings, or is that just a bit? <laughs> junk wiggle. <laughs> it's, me, it's me as well. <laughs> <laughs> Dean's definitely wiggling something. Yeah, um, that's how I felt about that question. Yeah. 
I agree. I think that almost 95%, 99 I'm still very upset about 95, dude. I'm still very upset about Chloe and Elaine. So that's where I'm going to be for the next That was, that was a rough moment in this. Elaine! Time. It was rough. Okay Elaine! It. it was rough. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Hey, Level Uppers. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to check out our other content, please do. Like your favorite superhero podcast, Power Up, right here. Or for everything PlayStation. It only does PlayStation right there. For movies, television, and Netflix, check out the Lights Up show down this way. And for the latest episode of our gaming talk show, The Level Up Show, go right there. But most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe right there. there. Nailed it. We did it. That was, awesome. yeah, that was good. Which one do you think they'll click on? I think Probably, Level Up show, probably, obviously. Hopefully, all of them. Yeah. I would like if they watched them all, I think. Lights Up is new, though. I think they should definitely check that out. Lights Up's a new one. Power Up's always a new about one. seven, eight seconds now. Yeah. We're... <laughs> well, you think they've clicked on something? Right. We're still here, so no. <laughs> I think they should. We should give them a little on, bit Could you more. click on something? Click on something, guys. We need to go. The hell are you I'm going to give it three for? seconds. Watch all things of to do. Three, just click two, stare them down until they do it. One. Ah.